Hello to everyone in the chat. A little Fetty, what's up? How you doing? You ready for some investigating and shape shifting? Hunting down a murderer. Is that the speed he's going? Why is it? S oh, well, he's turning. I think that's the speed he's going. Okay, I'll stop judging his driving. I'm going to visit Chief because I don't remember what's happening. Sam, I've got some heavy rain news. Oh, jeez. Wait, who's rain? Oh, rain. Rain is one of the tarot card reading people. I have zero memory of last session. <laughs> How are you and the kitty? I'm good. Coco's better. She was a little sick yesterday. I don't know if she ate a weird bug or something, but she was kind of lethargic for a little bit. Didn't want to eat. Didn't bother me to get her food. She didn't chase any ice around. But she seems to be fine now. She has an appointment on Wednesday. How are you? Jojo Potato, what's up? I hope not to hear Jenks quote, quote quotation. What is that? I can't say it. Quote a Carrie Perry song ever again. Oh, kissed a girl and liked it. Lawrence Petrovsky, that's his real name. And no, he's not a Russian spy. Sounds like he does a, have a criminal record. Ooh. What did he do? <laughs> that. He's so happy about the hat, too. He was charged with the murder of a 21-year-old artist. <gasps> Looks like he got off on a technicality by all accounts. That seems like he shouldn't be out. He, he should be in jail still. About three months ago in Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Be careful, sir. They let him out? You're going to ask him about this. Could be a flight risk. And you know, there's a good chance he could be the killer. Okay. Doors behind you. What the hell, Chief? <laughs> He's always ready to kick me out. Rain's still a suspect. No corroborated alibi. Bromman Castle has one. Lexi Taylor doesn't. I've got my search back on Rain, or Petrovsky, as we should call him. He's got priors that you're looking into. I am. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. Zach Weston says he was in his studio last night. No one corroborates. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Okay, boyfriend oh, said that. Didn't know that. That's it. Oh, that's a short list. I thought it was going to be longer. Okay, Lee. Thanks, Chief. No need to be a jerk. Is Oscar back? Hey, I'm going. There's too many people asking questions. It's exhausting. I'm off to stay at my aunt's. I'll come back tomorrow, but I've said everything I can say. Okay. Can I look around your place? Are you leaving me in your house? I guess it's him kicking me out. Fine. Visit Zach. He's a weird photographer, dude. Ugh. God, he's so sleazy. Where are you going to be for the next few hours? Don't leave the country. Probably right here. Why? I didn't realize I was under house arrest. Ugh. <sighs> You should probably go somewhere where there are witnesses. Thanks for the advice. I hope I'm not the only suspect. You're gross. God, you're gross. He's gross. I hate him. Ellis. The next possible victim. And I have nothing to say to her. But her co-star on the radio show, Poe. You're the detective. Yeah, oh, God. Monroe just called. This is madness. Who would want to hurt her? Um, does anybody hate her? Is her voice annoying? Only a madman, or woman. Monroe is August's sweetheart. Poe and Monroe, that was her idea. Poe and Monroe? Our show. We were just another local radio station before that. It was Monroe who decided we should have a theme. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. 
Don't tell me you haven't heard it, Detective. That's what the Free Radio Project is all about. Okay. Zach wants to be under <laughs> citizen's arrest, complete with handcuffs. He can get the not friendly handcuffs. The ones that don't have satin on it. The ones that aren't fluffy. The ones that hurt. He can have those. List of free radio projects. He has nice nails. I'm surprised. And they're clean. Look at his nails. Uniting August via the airwaves. Monroe's been delivering free radios anywhere people might want to listen. Doctor surgeries, hairdressers, the guest house. Surgeries? What's up with this angle? I hate this angle. It just feels gross. She's forcing people to listen to you. I believe she charmed the local electrical store into donating them. In exchange for free advertising, of course. Ah, okay. Are you and Monroe close? We've worked together for years. Mm -hmm. She's the light to my shade, the angel to my demon, the diamond to my lump of coal. Oh. <laughs> she told me to say all those things. What is happening? What is this? Is she dating anyone? Yes, please. Slick back your greasy hair. I believe not. She has a big heart. And in my opinion, opens it too easily. You don't know about her and Dorito? We interviewed her about her scholarship not too long ago. That's such exciting radio. Do you think whoever killed Dorota <laughs> plans to kill Monroe? What makes you think she's in danger? Are you trying to get a story out of me? A tarot card reading predicted it. I got my book with me too. So whenever they say a card, I can look it up. Unless it's not in here. Tarot. Tarot. Does this have anything to do with the gentleman who stopped? Why is he speaking like he's living in Dracula's time and he's the lord of a manor? He's walking down with a cape and a cane. Why does he sound like that? Where were you last night? On air. Uh, much of our broadcast is pre-recorded. But we always do the hourly news live. Tell me about August, the small town. You know, this town is fascinating. This gets free radio. There's a lot more to it than meets the eye. Have you ever read up on the real history of August? I'm kind of busy solving a murder, so no! The official story is that Mary August retired from a life on the high seas, found a nice spot here, and used her ill-gotten gains to establish a town. Is she a pirate? That's not what really happened. I'm not sure. I care. I want to know what really happened. It's true that Mary August was a pirate. Ah, pirate. But she didn't retire. Her ship was sunk on the rocks just off the coast. Mary and all of her crew sought refuge in a small fishing town. This one. <laughs> Next story is it over? <laughs> so rude. They slaughtered everyone. Oh. Men, women, and children. That wasn't necessary. All dead and dismembered in their own homes. You could have just worked with them? Bodies were dumped in a mass grave. In the ocean? Well, the body parts. And the pirates moved in. I would put them in the ocean, because they could be eaten. But they could also float downtown or something. They'll, they'll wash up somewhere, or animals can eat it. And you're feeding the earth. Isn't that great? So everyone in August is descended from pirates. Where is the mass grave? No one knows. Uh. It seems at some point it was built over and then forgotten about. It could be under the school or the church or right beneath our feet. Okay, thank you. On that note, I should probably get back to the booth. You're in the booth. The show must go on. Death threats, be damned. Look after Monroe, detective. She's the only Monroe I've got. It's now 10 o'clock. That Here's was your quick. August update. Investigations deepen into last night's what murder I of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw, a talented cellist who had recently been granted a place at Juilliard, 
was found strangled at her home last night. With the murderer still at large, Chief DuPont has urged residents to remain calm and stresses there is almost no chance of anyone else being harmed. <laughs> almost. Alice, if you're listening, let me know you're okay. Oh, that doesn't news, tip anybody a off. of August residents have reported seeing strange lights in the sky earlier this evening. The lights, which witnesses describe as searingly bright, were spotted over the east edge of town, past the fire station. Have you seen any strange lights? No. For that matter, little green men? Let me know. That's no. Ten with Poe. Little green men, that's absurd. So absurd, unless... It is tied down human bodies are going to float up eventually. I mean, yeah, but they can get eaten. Keep in nope, not keep investigating. I say mm, next chapter. Hi. August's gone crazy tonight. I've just got off the phone with someone who thinks they saw a UFO. Oh great. On one of the nights that Violet went missing. Aliens would be normal right now. Anyway, now you're here, it's time. What what? What do you suggest we do with Ellis Monroe? What? I'm not ready for this. S tell, don't tell her to leave town. Um, maybe tell her actually. Ah, oh God. So I remember they said that there is an interdimensional person hopping in to kill three people that share the same trait. But I don't know if they have to be in the same town. We can't send an officer to her house. Make sure they're a redhead. I'll send Danny over. And that means there'll be nobody at the guest house. So be extra vigilant. There was somebody at the guest what house. What do you mean you're sticking me with Danny? Oh, oh my god. Why am I dealing with this? I don't have training for this. What's wrong with Danny? Danny is basically doing out a scream. I don't know what that means. I'm a sitting duck. Isn't there anyone else? I don't work here. <laughs> Chief DuPont? Chief DuPont? Yes. <laughs> the only thing I've ever seen him run after is an ice cream truck. He doesn't even look like he's fat. <gasps> Fine. Danny it is. You can lock your doors. I just hope you know what you're doing. I don't. Good luck. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I made a mistake. Maybe lock your doors? Sam, where the hell are you? On the road? Who's Sam? Oh, Come that's me. Station. Now, Danny's disappeared and Ellis... Ellis is dead. Oh, whoopsie. She's been strangled, Sam. How the hell did we let that happen? We left an officer she... with her. She well, Danny's the killer corner, then. Now. Looks like we've definitely got a serial killer now. It's 11 o'clock. My good friend <gasps> co-host Ellis Munro has died. Her life was ended a short while ago by, we think, the same person who murdered Dorota Shaw. I know that you are shocked and devastated. I'm not. Broken by this she didn't lock her doors. As am I. There is nothing more I can say. I hope you will join me now in a minute's silence to remember Alice Munro. I have no more words. Isn't the fool the first one in the major? What's happening? Am I supposed to do something? What's it counting to? <laughs> um, is it or is it a minute? What's happening? Hello?
<laughs> Oopsies. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Sam, I have some bad news. Oh, she's dead. We've done a group reading, and it's you. That's so funny. I don't have red hair. I'm the killer. <laughs> the fuck, right? Anyway, the fool. Freedom, risk, impulse, trust, naive, hey. <laughs> Inner child, ignorance, adventure, joyful child, jour journeyer. Unhurt, ready, new soul, beginning, bursting, enthusiasm, unprepared, blind faith. Okay, some of these feel like an attack. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry for trusting the police to do their jobs. I'm not a cop. I'm a shape-shifting dimension creature. I'm the killer. We can't predict that. The next victim. It's you. Well, that's weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why me? Really? What what trait do I have that goes with everything? I think you've interfered too much. That's why you're the next target. But that doesn't go with the I've whole ritual you thing. Already. He's asked that you meet with him. You should go, Sam. Be careful. I don't know you. Ew. Sam, it's almost midnight. Yeah. You're still alive? This is a good thing. Barely. But no one's even attempted to kill you yet. Do you have a knife? You've given me a lot of evidence. Enough to arrest someone. But who? I have no idea. Make the right decision. And you should be safe. If we don't, well, we've all got to sleep at some point. I have nothing. I can get someone to guard your room at the guest house. But it might is it Danny? Enough. So, Sam, who should I arrest? Who do you think, Chief? During that whole thing with Alice, the only people I couldn't keep track of were Rain, Zach, and and Violet. I don't want to believe it. That's Violet, three too many. That's why you're here. You're impartial. Out of those three names, who was with Dorota at the time of her murder, or who has an alibi that doesn't check out? This is on you, Sam. Just give me a name. Who has an alibi that doesn't check out? Out of the three, out of Zack, Rain, and Violet, who has an alibi that doesn't check out? Zack's a creep. Violet was probably captured by aliens, or I don't know, maybe she just has a problem with other redheads. Rain, he repeatedly said that he was praying at night, even when I was different people. He kept to the same story, so maybe not him. Zach is a creep. Violet is confused. Nice way of saying it. I'm going with Zach. He's a creep. Zach, I don't trust him either. He's definitely creepy. Yeah. I'll go and pick him up myself. With all the information you've given me, I think it'll be enough. Maybe he'll confess too. That would help. That was also Good him luck, being creepy. If you pick the wrong person, you're still in danger. Okay. I mean... Well, that's nice. I'm a great detective. Sam, you asked for these earlier. Did I? Make sure you get some sleep now. You'll need it. Where's the cop? Night. Where's the cop? It's the cop Danny. Because <laughs> I don't see a cop outside my door. <laughs> Do not be the killer again, girl. I'm sorry, sorry. That was in bad taste. <laughs> um, Bronwyn asked me to check that you're okay, and you seem to be. Well done, catching a killer, by the way. Well, hopefully you did. Uh. <laughs> Scream if you need me. 
I'm supposed to have a cop it's outside one my door. In the morning, and this is Poe with your August update. We don't normally have them at this time, but since there's a killer on the loose, I feel it's my duty to keep the radio station manned. I personally spoke with Chief DuPont earlier, and he thinks they're close to catching the killer. Hopefully. Until that happens, though, please lock your doors and stay inside. Remain vigilant. The light has faded, and so has my fortitude. Dramatic. I see things in shadows, behind doors and under desks. I hear the chattering of teeth and the glee of insects waiting to feed on me. Um. The studio undulates like a heart that beats its last beats. That's a lot. I can't go on. Tone it down. I must to bed. That's... Forgive me, Lady August. Forgive me. What in the world <laughs> was that about? Why is everybody in small English towns weird? Sam, you're awake. Oh, come How on. Convenient. Again. I'm sorry, I am going to have to kill you. Why? Why is it always you that's the killer? In the last game, in this one, can you not do that? Sorry, what was that? Can you not be I a murderer? I can't understand you with all that tape over your mouth. But you know too much, Sam. And you're getting annoying. I had to kill those girls. Zack doesn't know what he's doing. He loves me. Not them. Oh, so this is a jealousy Those thing. Just little... Pause. Zach, not though? marriage material. I'm marriage material. No, but Zach... Keep killing those little bitches until he wakes up. Zach? But in the meantime... I have to deal with you, Sam. Love that toy gun. But, um, over Zack, really? <laughs> Violet? You can get anybody else. Anybody else would be better. I am changing to Zack. Zack. Sorry, Violet. Is that you? Oh my god. Are you? you okay. Let me untie you. Okay, hit her with a brick or something. <gasps> You were Sam all along, that's so sweet. What? You happened to be with me, but you didn't want me to know it was you. Okay, you yeah. You were looking after me as Sam, aren't you? Yep. Oh, this, I'm so happy it was you. So, so happy. Does she really believe oh, this? I you forgive me. I don't want to strangle anyone else, and, and now we're together. Oh. It's just perfect. <gasps> Sorry, Violet. Good work, Sam. Jealousy is one hell of a motive. Mm -hmm. Violet's one hell of a woman. Yep. I can't say I'm not disappointed. I've known Violet for years. It's just so unlike her. Is it? Let's see if we can get a confession out of her now. I'm thinking it's not going to be easy. Go get some rest. I'll catch up with you in the morning. Where was the officer that was supposed to be outside of my door? What is wrong with the police? sleepyhead uh, I'm so glad to see you alive I don't trust anyone god jeez I don't want any of you talking to me I don't like any of you I don't trust any of you no one did I win <laughs> what about the next victim there is no next victim Violet's locked up she's being charged for murder travelers don't like being incarcerated so they'll have jumped realities already. It's not something that a jury will believe. The shell they've left behind won't remember what they've done. And spend a life in prison. All we can do is try and stop the next one. Sam, come with us, please. We could really use someone like you and, well, just 
Will you? What do you mean someone like me? Do you... Do you know what I do? My home is August now, <laughs> is it? <laughs> what is going on? I feel it's so out of the loop. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's go. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, Sam, that's wonderful. It doesn't make any sense, but I'll go. Let's finish packing and we can leave this afternoon. Sam, thank you. We're going to change lives, believe me. Hey, sweet cheeks. You did good. Real good. You win. Alexi hug. No, thank you. Mm -hmm. Sam, I'm just going to say it because you only live once and all that. Sam, I think I'm falling for you. That's it. That's huh? all I wanted to say. What? It's out there now. We can go with our lives. What? I don't think it was a traveler. I think it's just crazy. Yeah. August is the name of the town you're in. I know it's the name of the town I'm in. I'm just... But why is it my home? Why is it my home now? I was assigned here by some random dude to help with a murder. Why is it my home? I feel like I'm missing a lot. That's a nice thing to say. Who are you? I see. Nice thing. I've known well, you for less than 24 hours. Games. Heart wants what it wants. Okay. Perhaps you should go for a while so I can have a little cry. Uh -huh. I'll be okay though. Yeah, I think you'll be fine. Sam, you're safe. You're creepy. Thank Christ. Okay. We just met. Why am I getting hugs? Um, sorry. What reality is I don't this? Know where that came from. I'm glad you kiss him. <laughs> Everyone's emotional today. <laughs> what is happening? Yeah, I know. There's been a lot of death going around. So this is it? Look, however this pans out, I just wanted to say thank you. Chief Dupont was going to screw everything, but you kept it all together. The right was stopped. Okay. But there's tens, if not hundreds going on all the time so so we got to keep going i don't know if bron asked in the end but i hope you're coming with us yeah i really do yes i said yes i don't know if crazy man that follows me will let so me you did good <laughs> I thought you would. okay i mean not that i've got a signed confession or anything yet apparently i don't remember anything about the murders but bronwyn seems pretty convinced it's over well done Okay, thanks. I hear you're leaving town with the tarot readers. That's a real big shame you were starting to fit in here. But good luck to you. You're doing what many of us have died trying. Huh? In August. Oh, okay. We chose wrong. Yes, a woman died. And now we're ditching the town with tarot card readers predicting interdimensional crimes. Okay. <laughs> exactly. This is the bad ending. And I stuck to my word. Uh huh. That problem you had, I buried it. What what problem did I have? The coroner's report is going to say the woman was dead when you arrived, not after. Huh? I don't personally believe in exorcism or anything like that. But what I do? Twenty-four hours. I'm starting to think things aren't as cut and dried as I'd like them to be. You're a good person, Sam. I. At least that's definitely how it looks. I don't know what's happening. What I do? Other than being a terrible detective and a woman got killed because of it. I am Dorota. I am 21 years old. You were um, murdered. I love playing cello and <laughs> I just been awarded a scholarship to Juilliard. Ooh, that's fancy. <laughs> I just love cello. I love all string instruments, but Can I cello skip? is rich and skip. Deep. Okay, cool. Uh, settings. Oh, jeez. I can exit. Soothing, at least to me. And no, cello is my hobby. But my real passion is. Uh huh. It's silly. It sounds silly. Okay. Well, I would like to build a time machine. <laughs> I know, I know. But it is possible. I think 
people make mistakes. Calling me out. They do things they regret. <laughs> they say things they don't mean. I want to go back in time. Calling I me out. I want to make better choices. Okay, I will. Thank you. You know why you're here, don't you? Oh, jeez, him again. No. Because you did well. And you know what happens when you do well? No. <laughs> Apparently the murderer is different every time you play. Nice. Augmentation. What does that mean? Congratulations, Agent 3.13. Point one three. Welcome to 3.14. Oh. <laughs> I gotta do it again. Because <laughs> I kind of failed. Enter secret debriefing. Debriefing 3204, Birmingham. Transmit. Uh-huh. And we're ready. Okay, uploading. Are you human? Yeah. Debrief complete. Agent ready. You can go. Okay. Oh, you can now skip over previously viewed scenes. Nice. What, what's resume do? Does it just start me over or is it like a, okay, it was not a new game plus. Starting a new, what? Resuming. I'll just do new game, it's fine. Oh, thank God, I can still skip. Good, that's, oh, thank God I can skip that. Um, trash, because he gets mad. You know why you're here. Skip. No? Well, oh, crap, what'd he say? <laughs> no? The dead girl. Ah, oh, right. And this. Skip. Say nothing. Splendid. Okay, skipping is bad, because I have no you're idea what they to say. You're called August. Uh-huh. I don't have to talk to this man. Skip. Splendid. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We expect you to use your ability. Uh huh. Thank I'm you. I'm Violet. Welcome to the guest house. Thanks, Violet. Um, she's asking me how long am I going to stay. I'm not sure. That's fine. It's yours for as long as Don't you want. Don't be the murderer it. again. Thank you. There's not many visitors. Here. Skip. Visitors? It's just you and some tarot readers. Okay, cool. Murder? Yes, the murder. Okay. Chief? Chief Dupont. He's the one who booked the room. Okay, cool. You look lost. You should probably go and speak to the chief. I totally no, will. Thank you. Predicting the future? You don't believe? I so believe it. That sounded serious. You must have a serious job to do. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. Okay. Pleased to meet you. I'm Sam. Pleased to meet you, Sam. If you'd like a reading. Sure. Let me get a reading, actually. So... What's your question, Sam? I didn't get a reading last time. Will I win? How about are you guilty? Oh. What'd she get? The Page of Cups. Page of Cups. It suggests I'm innocent of whatever it is I'm being accused of. I'm going to be seeing a lot more of you, aren't I, Sam? I'm in room one and that's Sam the Hall. Lorraine's in two, Lexi's in three. And which room are you in, Sam? I'm looking for a page of cups. I have ace of cups. I don't know if it's the same thing. It's all nice things. It's about self-love, renewal, hope, peacefulness. It's, it's all gross stuff. Ugh. Nasty. I guess she is innocent. Um, I am on the last one to the left. I'm going to trust you completely. She's going to kill me. Good. We're neighbors. Just knock if you need me. Unless the cards lied. At least for now. It needed... Help. Hold on. With Radio. Turn, turn that off. My god. Wait, what is all this? Ugh. No. I don't want to listen to that. 
Go to my room. Um, yeah, go to my room real quick. Skip. Shifting is locked. Skip. Hail a cab. Where do I need to go? Visit the guest. I was in the guest house. Hail a cab. Where am I going? <laughs> Good. You got my message. <laughs> oh, right. Chief Inspector DuPont. Uh huh. What Chief, hello. Come? How you doing? Well, I suppose you're between jobs? Yeah. Well, we both know that's not true. But I like it. Sam. Okay. That's your cover now. So, the job. Dorota Shaw. He's a dirty cop, by the way. <laughs> he covered my supposed murder. Strangled. I know who did it, but I need proof. Mr. Taro Rios. But you were wrong last time. You said you know. No, you don't. Because it was that lady that you were into, possibly. Why the terror readers? Because they predicted it. The older one, uh, Bronwyn, she came into my office last night talking all crazy and saying Dorota was in trouble. Maybe and couches won't be so her. tacky this time. You're hoping for too much. <laughs> it all sounded crazy to me. Tarot, the spirit world, cards that move, trans-dimensional thingamajigs? Yeah. To be honest, I thought she'd probably been smoking something. That's well, legal I here, I think. Why isn't she in jail? Because things, I don't have enough on her. That's where you come in. The free guest house day isn't free. I need you to work the case and report back to me. Okay. Find out things from the inside. Mm -hmm. Can you do it? Yeah, I can. Yep. I'll, I'll do my best, Chief. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll be telling everyone that you've been hired by the Shores because obviously local law enforcement is either too incompetent or too overworked. No Solid. kidding, Danny. License to talk to people, but I'm letting the killer in. Don't actually touch people. Or annoy them. You don't have any Divine touch. authority, understand? But you help me. Like, out. can I poke them? I'll help you. Can I boop their nose? Is that a bad? <laughs> help me out. Do I have to spell it out? Yes. I'll make your problem go away, or at least sink it to the bottom of a pile of paperwork. You can burn it. <laughs> what problem? Your old town? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come and find me when you're settled. This is Second Chance Sunday for you, Sam. Don't blow it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, bum, 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 bum. What can you tell me about Violet? Uh, Skip. Nothing? She told you she's taking pills, didn't she? Let me handle Violet. She didn't kill anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Said that last time, too. And what happened? She was killing people. Crazy. What do you want to know? She was a cellist. Selected for a scholarship at Juilliard. It was mm -hmm. in the local paper. You guys get how much she killed? Don't read the paper, do you? No. Yesterday. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Where was she killed? In her bedroom. She was naked. Strangled. Okay. Da, 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 da. I'll throw this away. Wouldn't it be crazy if the chief was actually the murderer? That would be awesome. What do you think about the terror readers? Thieves, covering for each other. Okay, cool. Is she the prime suspect? Obviously. Anyone who Okay, bye. What do we know? Nothing. Bye. Is it the guest house? Let me start talking to people. Um, visit I'll visit Lexi first. Hi. Sam, is it? Come on in. Make yourself at home. Me casa is you casa. Okay, let's look at these couches. Nope, they're bad. Um, Dorota. I don't know anyone in this town, except for Bronwyn and Rain, obviously. And Violet, and the Chief, and now you. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. Okay, how'd you know she was gonna die? Good old-fashioned fortune-telling. Well, kind of. We drew a card each and smashed them all together. Do you know what the most dangerous tarot card is? It's the tower. We had this conversation. Uh, I think I said the devil last time. The happy squirrel. <laughs> You've done your research. The happy squirrel was vague and mysterious. I knew it. Not evil. So what's the most dangerous card? The five of swords. I think so anyway. There's nothing more dangerous than someone taking whatever they want no matter the cost. You drew the five of swords? Yeah, I did. Rain got the knight of wands. That's Dorota. And Bronwyn got the Ten of Swords, which is, well, you know. More swords. Swords in general are bad. 
Uh, ba, ba, ba. Why'd you come to August? The cards told us to. Well, the cards of rain. Tarot gives us a rough direction and he narrows it down with some astrological jiggery pokery. He's basically a walking esoteric library. And if that sounds dull, let me reassure you, it is. You do what the cards no, tell you? Well, Skip. A job. I didn't say job. A job. Okay. I know you're lying. Me? Skip. How well do you know Bronwyn? She's my big sister, so pretty well. Uh huh. Get rid of this one. You know the chief's got it all wrong. Bron could never hurt anyone. Okay, cool. <laughs> that won't work on me. What does she say? Darn it. Ah, oh, that's mean. She didn't do it anyway. Chief Dupont's crazy. You're crazy. You don't know. Watch her do it. But the card said she's innocent. Well, according to her. What were you doing last night? I was in my room all night with Bronwyn. We were um, painting our nails. Can I see your nails? Though, can you prove it? You can ask Bronwyn. We were together. Together? Not together, together. That sounded kinkier than I meant it to. Mm hmm. And? She didn't say which room, though, did she? Did she say that they were painting their nails in her room? You must be a new guest. Oh, God, Rain, I forgot about how weird he was. I'm Rain, by the way. Don't touch me. No. I'm Sam. I don't want to talk to him. Thank you. I heard you say earlier your name's Sam. Yeah. You don't look like a Sam. That's weird. What does that mean? You look like a, a Irving. How'd that feel? I didn't know her. I know she was called Dorota. Skip. Do you have any connection to Dorota at all? No, not at all. You're completely barking up the wrong tree there. Uh huh. That's what a killer would say. Let me just leave it at that. Sam, I don't have a motive for killing Dorota. Full stop. The transdimensional murderer murder person anything. doesn't have. Do you believe in possession, Sam? See, that's the thing. If you were possessed, you wouldn't need a motive. I do not believe in possession. No. no. There's more than just one form of possession, Sam. It's just a blanket term. The way he's smiling is so bleh, creepy. I've gotten used to Rain's terrible haircut. I'm not sure what that says about me. But when you have Rain and then you have Zack, Rain is just better. How did you predict the murder? We did a reading. A group reading, actually. With a special tarot deck. What did it tell you? You get it piecemeal. Piecemeal? Not everything in one reading. The last one we did showed a young woman being murdered. Young, talented, probably redheaded. How'd you know about the redhead part? Tell me about the special deck. No, it's not exactly from here. Uh, with a normal tarot deck, you uh -huh. have... Can I see it? I don't have it at the moment. Bronwyn has it. Okay. What were you doing last night? Let's see if he says he's been praying. I was in my room. Praying, actually. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in God, but I was still praying. It didn't work. And what do you believe in? I don't believe in anything. But I also believe anything is possible, so... Uh, so you tried. It's a conundrum. <laughs> so cheeky. Someone's dead. Teehee. That's so funny. Anyway, Bronwyn. Sam, is it? Yeah, we talked. I'm sensing you're not here for a reading. We already had a reading. Ba, 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 ba. Can I see the Mercury card? Mercury? Yeah. Sure. I'll just get it. Is she running? It feels a bit sacrilegious just spreading it out to show you. Uh -huh. It doesn't really answer questions, it more asks them. Can you get it? 
Do you want to ask your questions to me? Sure. Yeah, this is new. Mana, what's up? <laughs> this guy's haircut. Tells me he's done terrible things, starting with getting that haircut. <laughs> Watch him be the killer this time around. Sure, let it let the card ask me a question. Hmm. It wants to know if you're happy being the person you are now. <laughs> Not really. Hmm. Mercury agrees with you. Wow. It's nice that you're being honest with me. Oh, good. I gotta trust. Ba, ba, ba. I have questions about the Gigi murder. I did it. Yep. I'm hoping you'll convince him otherwise. Maybe. Why should I convince him? How well did you know her? Did you even know her? I didn't. We've only been here. Okay, cool. Get rid of that. Eh. There's a lot more at stake here than you know, son. I'm sure. Like what? Well, if I told you that, you'd have nothing to do. I have plenty to do, like skip town. I could just leave. How did you predict the murder? We saw it in the cards, not images, feelings, impressions. Tarot can be very powerful. Uh-huh. Can you ask who the killer is? Not these cards. They only tell us what they want us to know. Helpful. Where were you 9 p.m. last night? In my room, reading. I found a trashy romance novel. So you were not with Lexi. I'm assuming it's Violet's. It's all swooning heroines and brooding vampire Casanovas. Thank God Lexi saved me. Oh. You didn't leave your room all night? No, not at all. Lexi popped in and we chatted for a bit, but... That's all. There we go. There we go. Lexi, you liar. You said that you guys were painting your nails as she said you chatted. Liar. I can't tell her. Damn it. What's up, Ebony? This game seems to be keeping you occupied pretty good. Yeah. I, I was not a good detective last time. I picked the wrong person and then the actual killer captured me and then I had to turn it to her boyfriend who's really sleazy don't know why she loves him but whatever had to turn it to her boyfriend knock her out and then i skipped town it was a good time oh violet i assume you've been to see chief dupont already <laughs> yeah you, her she was the killer she was the killer two games in a row stop that Hey, the chief said you were taking pills. I take clozapine. I think they're for anxiety. I'm a very anxious person. I know. You definitely are anxious. Uh, what were you doing last night? Who are the other guests? They're tarot readers. I'm thinking of asking them to leave, actually. Don't do that. <laughs> Let me order her around. Demands already. <laughs> I'm only thinking of doing it. Like, don't you dare. <laughs> oh my. Did you know Dorito? Not really. I'm sure she was a precious lamb, though. Oh, you knew her in the last game, and then you murdered her. Because you were jealous. Uh, get rid of that. She reminds me of me, but without my intellect. Okay, way to put her down. So she was nice? Nice, yes. That's a good description. Actually, I thought she was a bit slutty, to be honest. Which is apparently nice. She was slutty? Sorry. I'm gossiping. I love gossip. I don't want to talk ill of the dead. Gossip. Ask her boyfriend. Where do I find her boyfriend? Oscar lives at the vicarage next to the church. Don't tell him I sent you, though. I'm sure he's sick of seeing people already. Oh, I bet. What were you doing last night? It's the strangest thing. I honestly don't remember. But I imagine I was here or getting groceries somewhere. <laughs> Just a random part of town. Getting groceries. Have you ever been to her house? I've driven by it. Never actually been in it. So you know where it is. 
What well, isn't that fancy? Where can I go? Rain? What's up, you creep? Okay, nothing. Lexi! Liar. Nothing. Bronwyn. Hey, nothing. I guess I'll hail a cab. It's six o'clock and you're listening to Radio August. Police investigating the murder of Dorota Shaw are appealing to the community to help catch her killer. The body of 21-year-old Miss Shaw, an accomplished... Skip. Thank God. I forgot I could do that. Dorota Shaw, 15 slutty lane. <laughs> Oh, so mean. Visit Oscar. Who are you? Hi, you just invited me in. Work on your nails. I'm Sam. The Shaw's hired me to investigate the murder. Right, because the local police are so rubbish. It's been a day. Yeah, a whole I've day. noticed. It's typical of them. Okay, so, um, did you see your girlfriend yesterday? Yeah, I went around there in the afternoon. Uh, her parents were at work, and we were, you know, hanging out. Yesterday? I left at about 5. Okay. Where were you 9 p.m.? Playing football. It was just 5 aside. Uh, I don't know what that means. Half 9. I called her, but she never picked up. Emily just calls her Dorito? Or is that a game thing? I call her Dorito. The road is too hard to say, so Dorito. Dorito it is. Not much. They always seemed happy to see me. I don't think they meant it. They wanted Dorota to focus on her music. And how long were you dating the chip? Not long. A couple of months, maybe. Is that they it? They for each other. A couple of months? Was she seeing anyone else? No. Why? No reason. Well, Violet did call her slutty. Violet Gallagher? Mm -hmm. What's it got to do with her? Bitch. <laughs> Mind you, it's not exactly damning coming from someone as frigid as her. Jeez, goddamn. Why frigid? Oh, she's all prim and proper with it. Oh, sorry, it's just, why do people say things like that? You're not supposed to speak ill of the dead. That's what she said. Oh, the autocorrect changed Dorota to Dorito, and now she's Dorito. Is it possible that the killer was hiding in Dorita's room? What, you mean watching us? That's disturbing. No, no, it couldn't have been. The only place he could have hidden would be in the closet. I suppose someone could have hidden in the closet. Okay, must be a big closet. Yeah, it's big enough for two people to have sex in. A few months and already oh, going at it. On all fours. She had a few kinks, nothing weird. Kinks? Yeah, a band from the 60s. I'm not discussing this with you. Okay, what was in the closet? Clothes, mainly. And a wedding dress. I did see something that freaked me out a bit. She had a wedding dress in there. She knew I'd seen it, but we never talked about it. Not even as a joke. Okay, can't talk about that anymore. Is it the chief? Any more news on Oscar Wainwright? Oscar was playing football. Yep, that's what you told me, too. I'm not a suspect. That's too easy to knock off your list. You said the same thing about Violet, and guess what? She was the murderer. You gotta get better at your job. Jesus. Who's on your suspect list? Just the tarot readers. Really? No one else is remotely suspicious compared to them. I got a mustard packet. Um, I'd add Violet. Got any reason for saying that? She doesn't like her. She doesn't know where she was Monday night. Just a hunch. God, I gotta give a reason. Maybe just a hunch. Hunches don't buy lunches. Ha <laughs> 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 Hunches don't buy lunches. That's, that's good. Oh, man. My sides. Hunches don't buy lunches. Get out of here with that mess. Guest house. Skip. Go to my room. Your ability isn't endless. It will run out at some point. Thank you, weird man. 
I went to um, the 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 Jinx. The, what's his name? Dupont. Hi, I. Mm. Hi. It's leaning. Hi, I'm Chief Dupont. I forgot about that lean. Oh God. Leave. Let me go to Oscar. See if he'll talk to Chief Dupont about the kinks. Chief Dupont, there's been loads of people coming around asking questions. I don't even know half of them. The people or the questions? Only is still prime suspect. Did she collect? Did, did Dorota collect coins? Did I do this? Not that I know of. She collected thimbles. The, what she are she didn't thimbles? Need any. She had hard calluses on her fingers from all the cello. And oh. in Dorota's bedroom. Did Dorota have any enemies? Uh, which question matters more? I already asked this one about the bedroom, I feel. Bedroom. Did Dorota maybe anyone else going for a Juilliard scholarship? But other than that, not really. Bronwyn is still prime suspect. Yeah. I know. I agree. Because she tipped you off? Yeah. If I manage to get into her room, what am I looking for again? Anything that ties her to the murder. Um, sure, yeah. You're going to break and enter? I'm going to break and enter. No, we talked about this. You said I could help, so I'm helping. Oh, right. Okay, I remember. Yeah, you can help. That's fine. Oh, um, I showed my therapist the, the hot man I made. <laughs> the hot elf looking dude. I was really smiley and happy when I... When, I guess... When she tuned in for the session, I was smiley and happy. She was wondering why, and I showed him the hot man that I made. It's like, here's my future possible husband, maybe. I don't know if I could romance him, but I made him really hot. Look. I was proud. Why is Sam still questioning me? Do I need to bring up Mr. Hedges again? Are you threatening me? Are you threatening him? Who is Mr. Hedges? Exactly. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hedges. The man you asked me to put up, who then, you know, died. And then what? Yeah, then what? And then we buried him together so nobody would find out. Any of this ringing any bells? We buried someone together. The answer's no, it's not ringing any bells. Not literally speaking. I, you took the body and you said you'd bury it. I'm an accomplice. Both be going down. That elf was a smoke show, no lie there. <laughs> you haven't even seen his body, oh my god. What did your therapist think of the future Mr. Ebony? She just laughed. Because I tell her I prefer fictional men over real people, and I'm completely fine with it. I don't like people. People can lie and disappoint you over and over. But your fictional men, like a bandit man or a hot elf man or a vampire elf man, they're predictable, they're easy to control, and that's great. I love it. You have a recognizable knock, Chief Dupont. I'll remember not to answer next time. But yeah, she you laughed. Boyfriend? I've met him once, yes. Okay, they met. Just the once? Just the once. When did you meet him? This morning. Is that it? What did you talk about? The weather and some other things which I'm not at liberty to discuss. Okay. Feel free to ask him, though. Oh, sure. I will ask. I'm going to go around and question other people. Hey. Oh, he's not here. He's praying again. Lexi. Okay. Everybody running from me. Gross. Go to my room. I can become... Oscar? 
I'm Oscar. Is there anything else I can do? Yeah, you can get out of this room and we can figure out what you can do. Go see Bronwyn or Violet? Oscar Wainwright, what a surprise. Why did you call Dorota slutty? <laughs> Why did you? Oscar. I thought you knew about pictures. What pictures? What pictures? The ones where she's wearing very little. Does this not mean anything to you? No. Yeah, they were for me. No. No? No. I'm sorry, Oscar. I really am. More detail. This is awful, coming from me, too. I... Details. I don't know much more than that. Please don't Oh, yes, take you offense. do. By slutty, I meant... Playful. Playful slut. I'm sorry. And now Sam looks like a snitch. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway. Skip. Rain. Okay. Lexi. Cool. Can I go see Chief? Chief DuPont? Chief? Chief? Hi. Oscar? What are you doing here? You're not writing anything. I want to help. Yeah, I want to help. I know. We've already talked about this. You said you'd get into Bronwyn Castle's room somehow and have a look around. Mm-hmm. Why? 15 playful lane. How? Wait, why? why? To find evidence that ties her into Dorota's murder. Ah. Maybe you're not the right man for this job. What evidence to that will tie her... What would tie her to the murder, Jenks? What in the world will tie her to the murder? Go to the room. Let me be Bronwyn. Let's see if I can get Oscar in the bed. Hi. I... Leave. Skip. Hail a cab. Go see Oscar. Didn't I expect you to come back? Have you contacted Dorota? No. Yes, she forgives you. Yes. She says you know who killed her. Yeah, that's what she said. She said what? Why would she say that? She'd never have said that. Why are you lying to me? <laughs> I'm probably confused. Sorry. Um, she said you knew. Not that you that you know the person, not that you know that the person did it, only that you know who they are. She's I knew. Maybe it's someone I know? Yeah. Is that what she means? Yes, that's what she means. I'm sorry the police ignored our prediction. I'm sorry the It's okay. Just how did you know? How did, how did I you come know? Up with a name and then she's gone. He's she's looking for gone. evidence. She's waiting to pass. Waiting to pass? Yeah. I don't understand what you mean, waiting to pass. To the other side. I haven't it yet. Probably still doing forensics and horrible things. Autopsies. Cutting her Do you open. Get on with Dorota's family? Not really. Especially not now. <laughs> I convinced I got her into the wrong crowd or something. Am I really a bad influence? No. Yes. No. No. You are a good person. Thanks, Bronwyn. I, I know it's a bit soon, but maybe we can grab coffee sometime? My girlfriend isn't dead in the time. ground yet, but you wanna... You wanna yes. hook up? That would be nice. Yeah, let's do that. I like you, Bronwyn. <laughs> How about soon? How about tonight? How about now? Can come to the guest house? Sure. No, sure. Yeah. So it's a date. Sort of. I'll, I'll see you soon. Mm-hmm. Return away for the date. Let's get him into bed. Hi. Hey. Hello. Sorry, I'm not used to dating so soon. I'm actually not in the mood anymore. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, we can take it slow. Oh, um, I, I wasn't sure I was thinking on doing anything, you know, physical. Oh, that's too bad. Get up on the bed. Get up on the bed. And he does it? There you are. Uh, I really don't think I'm ready for this. Sorry, I don't know what came over me. Are you going to come on strong this time? Hell yeah. Shh, baby, just a little pressure down there. 
<laughs> Do it. No, no, wait, please. Uh, can, can you just get off me, please? I'm, I'm sorry, you're right. <laughs> oh my god. It's starting oh. to get bad. Oh, I want you inside me. Oh, wow, that's a lot. hasn't even dried on the dew hasn't even dried on his garden tools and he's ready to replant get, get off me get off i can't do this i don't care what the chief wants I just can't. how can you want to sleep with me did you kill her did you kill dorota why yes. are are you here you got freaky with oscar <laughs> how could you want to sleep with me how could you say you want to date me if I say yes, he's gonna arrest her. <laughs> oh, I could just make yes. this really bad. No. Yes. I'm saying yes. Chaos. She's gonna want to talk to you, you hear? What you've done is truly evil. Ruining lives. Hey. I'm truly sorry about Dorota. <laughs> I didn't see you here last night. What are you implying? I'm implying I didn't see it's you. It's just suspicious. I didn't even know the girl. Yes, you did. You predicted her murder. I did. Who's more suspicious? Okay. I'm truly sorry about Dorota. I didn't really know her. I saw her pictures in the newspaper. Can't remember what for right now. Skip, skip, rain. Hi. So were what you, did you tell doing? What you were doing last night? I told them the truth, that I was in my room. I'm not sure if they can fact check it, but it's the only alibi. Consent is important. I kind of wish we'd all stuck together now. When should we do another reading? The police think it's me, don't they? Oh yeah, they do. Looks that way. Have you been feeling possessed lately? <laughs> I possessed. Why possessed? Why makes you think I'm possessed? You're kidding, right? Uh, oh, the way that faded. Visit Lexi? Oh, Bron, I'm so glad you're here. We need to talk. Is something wrong? No one can hear us, right? I mean, mm -hmm. I'm talk, talk. Thugged, it's not. Violet, Move on. Cameras everywhere. You think Violet's a voyeur? Is she a voyeur? Probably. I don't know. She has that look about her, don't you think? No. Like she knows something she's not letting on. I wouldn't be surprised if there's cameras hidden in the wardrobe. That's an what odd spot to, to have it. Nothing. Though I'd rather she didn't see me dancing around in my underwear. I only do that for people I love. Do you love me? Yeah, do you love me? Well, of course I do, Bron. See? <laughs> and now that's on film. I hope you enjoyed that, Violet. Listen, we need to talk about our alibi. Oh yeah, what'd you say? What about- I know you said it would be better if we said we were together, but lying about your alibi, that's pretty serious. Are you sure it was a good idea? You should lie about the alibi, but no, also have the same story. Do whatever it takes. Do whatever. You're acting like we've got something to hide. Bron, is there something you're not telling me? Why'd you ask me to lie? Were you really in your room all night? Definitely was. Yes. yes. Yes, I was in my room all night. No. No. <laughs> Let me so mistrust no. everywhere. Where were you? Ron, don't mess me around. You're scaring me. I'm just kidding. I was here all night. I was at her. No, you, this is a lie. I was at Dorota's house. I was at her house. No. No, you weren't. I don't know why you're saying that, but I know Bronwyn Castle and she's no murderer. Just drop the act. Oh, the things I'm doing to this group. Sow the seeds of mistrust. Make everybody act crazy. Turn to him. Hello. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. He's Rain. Did you know that? He's Rain. Leave. Skip. Visit Violet? Ah, Rain, can I help? Do you like my hair? Can you help me with About my hair? Was there a problem? My tap was dripping. 
but I fixed it. Where were you? How is she supposed to fix your leaking tap? My tap was dripping. Maybe I was in my bedroom. That's out of bounds to you. Obviously. Skip, skip, skip. Go to Bronwyn. Don't forget the group reading, Ray. By which I mean, if you see Lexi, tell her not to forget the group reading. You told her that you were What's at Dorita's house. We still don't know what we're dealing with. There's every chance that it could just be a normal human murder. What if it's not a normal human murder? Yeah, what if? Then we have to assume that it's some kind of traveler. A traveler? A traveler? From where? From when? We don't even know if it is a traveler yet. Let's just get the group reading done. Maybe then we'll There's have There's a whole answers. thing about the coin that I never got answered. Skip. Lexi. Hi, Lexi. Did we talk already? Think of... Oh, I'll totally hit that. <laughs> Thanks. The whole investigating Bronwyn for murder thing, of course. But that's a minor flaw. I can work around it. Okay. I hear Sam likes you too. Yeah, Sam really likes... Oh, this is why she said she loved me, isn't it? <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> I played with their feelings. I'll keep doing that. Really? Well, you know, I'm not surprised. I am a total babe. Yeah. I mean, eh. Chief, of course he's not there for me. Oscar, of course he's not there for me. Cool, guest house. Bedroom, who's next? That was her, that was you. I think that was him. I Was I her yet? Hello, I'm Violet. I don't think I was Violet yet. Hey, did we talk? Oh, maybe not. Maybe we- was I Violet? I changed your sheets last night, and you weren't here. Yeah. That door was locked, and you said there's only one key. So how would you know? I lied. Of all the people you could smash. She's the least likely to murder or grope you. Who, Lexi? Watch her be the murderer. You don't know. Lexi isn't there. Go to hail a cab, visit the chief. Violet. Hey! Knows about Mr. Hedges. I know about Mr. Hedges. I'll handle it, Violet. Just get back to the guest house. Unless something else you need? Mr. Hedges. Oscar, who's not there. Okay, cool. I think that's it. That was everybody, I think. Skip. Hail a cab. Am I done? Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, who do I need to talk to? Oscar, how's it going? How was your date? <laughs> Chief. Who is Mr. Hedges? Violet told you about Mr. Hedges? Yeah, actually. Yes. Mr. Hedges was one of August's homeless. Actually, probably our only homeless person. Just one homeless? Well That's crazy. Is that his actual name? No, we called him Mr. Hedges because, well, that's where we found him. In the Hedges. What happened? I asked Violet to put him up one night, and of all the nights he could have died, he just kicked the bucket. He it at the guest house. And then you put him in the ground? No, of course not. That's what Violet thinks. But I just drove him off to the morgue and had him processed. Did uh, you really? Don't tell Violet that, though. We need her on our side. So that's blackmail. He's blackmailing people. He's a terrible cop. Or he's exactly what you would expect in a cop. Good job, Jenks. They're lying about their alibis. Because got any proof? Yeah. I heard them talking about it. Hi, Coco. Yeah, then I can hold them in. Well, what's proof? Like, wait, do I need to record them? Can I help you? Okay, do whatever. Leave. I already visited Oscar, right? Okay, cool. Guest house, skip. Let's go to Violet. Hi, how you doing? 
Do you think Oscar killed Dorito? <laughs> Vicar's son? Yeah. No. No, as far as I can tell, Oscar is a good boy. But we've all got different faces now, haven't we, Sam? Yes, I know all about different faces you know about me. Know about you? Well, what is there to know about you, Sam? I just mean people have an act. A facade. Oscar seems nice, but for all I know, he tears pretty girls apart. Jojo says hi, Coco. Coco, do you care? She went downstairs. I don't think she cared. <laughs> She's rude like that. Why would somebody kill Dorito? She flaunts herself. Her body. Her boudoir photographs taken. Who do you think those photos were for, Sam? Her mother. Sounds like you know a lot about her. Not really. Just gossip. Mm -hmm. Apparently she went to have some portrait photos done and started stripping off. Weston's photographic. Zack Weston. He'll get himself into trouble one of these days. Why trouble? If you keep taking pictures of pretty girls in their underwear... Skip. Tell me about Zack. Zack's the local photographer. And a creep. You should go and talk to him, Sam. Creep. You're good at talking. He's a creep. You know where he is? At Weston's photographic? Off the high road? I don't know what any of that he's means. Late, but he's always there. You know his schedule? I have a good memory. I'm still holding grudges from when I was four. Uh, Bronwyn. Why'd you lie about your alibi? To protect Lexi. None of this is her fault, and she gets anxious easily. Well, that's not I was helping just her. Trying to take the pressure off. I'm, I'm sorry, Sam. I, I never usually lie. Well, I made you lie so much, so <laughs> that's not true anymore for you. I ruined your life, I think. What about him? Rain's a big boy. He can handle himself. That didn't Besides, answer my I'd question. Besides, I'd be highly suspicious if Rain claimed to be doing anything else other than reading on a Monday night. That's pretty much all he does every night. He said he was praying. Yes, he came to see me. He wanted to know that she was okay, spiritually speaking. Okay. You contacted her spirit? No. I wouldn't know how. I'm a tarot reader, not a medium. Maybe I should have pretended, though. You did. Paid up some fake message from her to give him some comfort. You did, sort of. Why didn't you make up a fake message? You lie once, and you just have to keep going, don't you? Yeah, it gets complicated, because I already forgot what I lied about. It's going to get messy for you. Not for me, for you, because I did it as you. Sam, what can I do for you? What's up, you weirdo? Where were you before August? Birmingham. The town. We couldn't save anyone there, either. The problem with travelers is... Let's put a pin in this one, Sam. Travelers? Let me ask Bronwyn. If she says it's okay to talk about it, it's okay to talk about it. You got it. You're here to do a job? We're trying to save people. It's not working. I said we're trying. You we suck. We have a gift. We have Mercury, the tarot. It tells us where bad things are going to happen, and we try and stop them. I thought it was supposed to ask you questions. How is it telling you? We didn't. Lexi used a Ouija board to get the name. So the tarot didn't tell you? It kind of did. Oh. It's hard getting an exact name out of 78 cards. But considering we'd never heard of Dorota Shaw, it painted a pretty good picture otherwise. How... Couldn't you use the Ouija board on its own and open up the door to any malevolent spirit trying to get to you? No. Lexi needs to give it context from the tarot reading. A lot of the time it comes up with nothing. Well, that's or a good a thing. Sordid comment directed at Lexi. That's not a good thing. I think that's why she keeps using it, to be honest. Oh, she's flirting with demons. That's cute. Who doesn't want to flirt with a demon? Have you seen Raphael? Hot man. Have you seen his dad? Oof. He'll tear off your head. But he looks good. 
once we thought there was going to be a murder, Lexi used the Ouija board to find out the victim's name. It spelled out the rotor. How does it work? Just... This is going to sound weird. Um, most people believe Ouija boards contact the dead. So if Lexi contacts a dead person, that person needs to know what happens in the future. Ergo, maybe the person she's contacting is from the future. A time traveller who died here. Time travel is real? Yes. Well, not just time travel, time and space travel is also possible. If we accept the fact there are multiple realities, we must also accept there are others like us who found a way to travel between He's these realities. He's staring into my soul. Why is he staring into my soul? Good God. Lexi. Hi, Sam. Back from all already. Yeah. Um, why did you lie about your alibi? I didn't. Yes, you did. How did you find out? Am I in trouble? Yeah. The chief's not happy. Why did you tell him? Oh my god, what am I going to do? Am Skip I really town. Yes. Tell me about the traveler. Traveler? That's a really old role playing game, isn't it? Rain told me all about it. Oh, did he now? Damn. Well then, you know what I know. I guess you must be a part of our inner circle. How's it feel? Feels good. Cheeky. Bitch. Are you flirting with me? Yeah. Yeah, sure, I'm flirting. Exactly. Yup, all in. Oh dear. Am I blushing again? There's a murder to solve. Wink, Maybe wink. Maybe you do that first. Wink. No, 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 not like that. Huh? <laughs> Wink, wink. I'm getting with all kinds of people today. I'm a great person. Tell me about the Ouija board. Oh, it's just your run-of-the-mill spirit communication device. Want to know how it works? Not really. I understand. You've got people to see, places to go. People to be. No, I think Bromwood met him, though. Is that it? Okay, what, what for? What for? When? You said in the morning. She said in the morning. Um, uh, when? This morning. Okay. He only wanted to see her. I guess he didn't want anyone else to hear what he had to say. Crazy. Am I done? Is that everyone? Violet, did I already talk to you? I think so. Okay. I think that's everyone. Lexi Radio, hail a cab. It's there we are. And here's the lady. Skip. Next chapter. Ooh, I can visit the creepy man. Sorry, we're closed. Come back tomorrow or make an appointment. Ugh. Are you Zach Weston? Yes. Uh, what do you want? Um, the Shaws hired me. The Shaws? Yeah. Uh, you mean that girl who got killed? The murdered girl. What was her name? Uh, Dorothy? You're trying too hard. You never met Dorito? I see a lot of faces in my studio, but I'm not good with names. Wait. Dorota, Dorota, I remember now. You're doing too much. Doing too much, buddy. Where were you last night? Here. I'm usually here most nights. And there's no one to... confirm that working late? I live here, detective. Long story short, I'm divorced. My wife got the house, my business is all I have left. That's funny. <laughs> I feel like you deserve that. You do deserve that. You're terrible. You suck. You're friends with Violet? Friends? Yes. Friends? I know Violet very well. I bet you do, you creep. How well? Violet takes it very well, actually. I like him like that. With a frosty exterior comes a soft, warm scent. Okay. Gross. I'm sorry my analogy wasn't explicit enough for you. Yes, we have sex. I once again want to backhand this man. For the August Chronicle, uh, she won some sort of award. I remember her cello. It kept reflecting the flash and ruining the shot. Did she come to the studio? No, I... Went to her house. You know where she lives. 
It's better with these human interest stories to capture them in a natural habitat. Once I photographed it, never forget a face. Yeah, face. So you know where she lived, yeah. If Open you ask that me up. to drive there without my sat nav, no. You know where she lives. And even if you use your sat nav, it's recorded in your sat nav, so you have her address in your sat nav. Ya punk. Was that the only time you met No, actually, with her? I've been running a special off on portraits since she came in for a studio session. No, but the... Uh, Wait there. The video he had was of her... What, Coco? I'm trying to figure out a murder. As you can see. There's photos here. There are the cello. Is that her room? Yeah. Trying to see the bed. In color. Beautiful hair. Because he took video. Oh, legs wrapped around of her in the bed. Ooh, hang on. Do you see what I see? Is there a bed? No. That's a piano. Pictures of Dorito. Nothing else? No. Never mind. Take anything else? What do you mean? Violet told me. Or you know what I mean? You know what I mean. I don't think I like what you're implying, Detective. Is that all? Darn. Ugh, fine. Is it Oscar? How'd your date with Bronwyn go? How did you hear about that? Anyway, it wasn't a date. I was doing a favor for Chief Dupont. Only lasted a few minutes. I know. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, funny. Look, it's really not any of your business, Sam. That's between me and the Chief. All right? All right. Do you know Zach? No. Who's that? Oh, no one. He's a photographer. He took pictures of Dorota. Okay, so this Zach guy was connected to Dorota. Mm -hmm. Took pictures of her. Yep. Were they sleeping together? Mmm. I'm gonna say yes. Why did you tell me that? Why did you ask? Every time I think of her now, I'm gonna see her with someone else. There's other people. Did she show you the the the, the pictures? Who what? Who do I photo? Yeah. She sent some private photos to me by phone. Do you mean them? No, I mean professional photos. I get it now. That's why you're asking about Zach Weston. Maybe I should pay him a visit. Go for it. Yeah, pay him a visit. <laughs> Let's have everybody in this town fight each other. <laughs> ah, I should not be a detective. Look at me, sowing chaos. I visited him, I visited him. Chief. If you have anything else on Zach Weston, let me know. He's a creep. He's a weirdo. He took pictures. And I'm all for a good boudoir picture, but who was it for? There's definitely a strong connection between those two men. Maybe they were for someone else. Well, unless they were for Oscar, I don't know. Unless there's someone else about to come out of the woodwork. There's a few people in the woods. Zach was in his studio last night. Yeah, that's what he says. But that's no what he says. He's on my radar now. I think you're supposed to tell me that. If he was taking photos of Dorota, maybe he fell for her? And the feeling wasn't mutual. Artists maybe. Users, apparently. So shy, huh? He's so lonely. <laughs> Can I get this man a date? And some leftover Chinese food. Leftover Chinese food. Not hot from the restaurant. Leftover. From the fridge. Keep it cold. No time to heat it up. Gotta keep working. I. Uh, we should talk about Zach. Uh, do we really have to? Yeah, your boyfriend. He says you're in a relationship. No, he says you're sleeping. 
How about in a relationship? Because that's how she sees it. Is that what he calls it? I'm not sure what we have, Sam, and I'm not sure how much longer we're going to have it. You said it was a relationship. Being with Zack in a previous no game. I can tell you. It's like his reproductive genes rule every decision he makes. His penis. I just want someone who will hold the door open for me. Bring me tea in bed. You're not getting that with this man. <laughs> and you killed for this man? Jesus. Hello, creepy child. Okay. Anyway. Sam, look, I, I can't talk right now. I'm doing phone readings. Gotta pay for a job somehow. Okay, skip. Rain, hello. Oh, he's not happy anymore. Why? So, this one? Fine, Sam. Tell me about Birmingham. Birming Birmingham. Birmingham. Mercury Birmingham. took us to Birmingham. <laughs> we didn't know what for. We never really know what for. But we turned up. It started with a girl. Ginny. Mm -hmm. She was South African. Skip. I forgot about the kid. Yeah, she's there. And then leaves. I don't know what she's there for. Yeah. We didn't know at the time, but in hindsight, it was after Saturday. Skip. Why did the Traveler want three victims? You should ask Bronwyn. She's the one that knows about Okay, cool. Um, tell me about Travelers. I guess you might call them demons, in as much as they can get inside us. Ooh. They come from other worlds. Other planes. Why demons? Some religions talk of demons, but they don't actually exist. Uh, travelers can get inside us and make it look like we're possessed, hence the demons. Travelers can inhabit us? Yes. Okay, skip. In simple terms? They can't just jump into something. Yeah, skip. So you think the murder is a traveler? Yes, probably. Mm -hmm. The tarot doesn't just sat nav us to normal murders. But Bronwyn made it sound like it could just take you to normal murders. I met him yesterday, doing the rounds, looking for reading work. Actually, he... Oh no. Um, he did mention Dorota. What about Dorito? He said there was this girl he was planning to meet up with. Said she was alone every Monday night because mm -hmm. her parents go to the cinema. Do you know what that means? It was Dorota Shaw. Okay, can I ask him about that? Let's see. Oh, right, you're busy. Bye. Cool, she's busy. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Go to my room. I want to become... Why can't it be Bronwyn? Or Lexi. They're not there. It's a great time to be them. Skip, let me go to Zach. Rain! I'm surprised to see you here. I take it you know about Dorota already. <laughs> All that stuff we talked about yesterday, that's strictly between you and me. You should just kill him, honestly. You seem like the type. What stuff? <laughs> what stuff? That's the spirit. Now, I think it's best if we don't get caught speaking to each other. Overcautious, I'm sure, but I think it's for the best, nonetheless. Damn it. Maybe we can get together for a lad's night out after this is all blown over. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Sure. Great. Well, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Darn. Visit Zach again. Mm. Man. Violet. Hello, Violet. Do we have anything to say to each other? We have a lovely guest house. Yeah, this place is it's kind of trashy, but it's nice. It is quaint, isn't it? Yeah, that's not the word. my parents had when they died. Okay. We are literally sitting in my inheritance. How did your parents die? How did they die? Father died first. Heart attack. Stress. They found him in the freezer when mother died. 
What? He had a pulmonary embolism. Why was he in the freezer? Didn't really talk to them much. Huh? Freezer. Why was your father in the freezer? Yes, she kept him in the chest freezer because she didn't want to be alone. She had you. Him perfectly. Still use it today. Um. Okay. It must be a really good freezer. I wonder what brand it is. What the fuck? <laughs> Girl. Skip, skip. Can't visit her. Yellow cab? Did I say chief? Oh, right. He's not there. Cool. Guest house. Skip. Skip. Visit him, they go to my room. Let me... Let me be... I'll be Violet. Leave. Skip. Rain? Okay, not there. I don't think anybody's available right in the guest house. Cool. Hail a cab. Chief. Oscar. Zach. Well, hello, gorgeous. What's up, you creep? I came over last. Everyone in town's heard. She's a local celebrity now. Local celebrity? Were you sleeping with her? Were you sleeping with her? Violet? Of course not. He would lie to her. I only have eyes for you. Yeah, he would lie to her. That's not what I heard. It's not what I heard, punk. This again. I told you. I'm not seeing anyone else. You're a creep. I have gorgeous women in my studio all the time, but you're special. Yeah. Not because you won't take off your clothes. I'm expecting that at some point. It's just... You're so clever and well-educated. And the icing on the cake... You're the most beautiful woman I've ever met. <laughs> I came over. I came over like. Well, that explains why there was no answer when I called you. I was definitely here. Okay, if you say so. No one else is there. Cool. Well, that was quick. Go to my room. Let me be. Was I Oscar yet? Knock, knock. Okay. Hello, Violet. Okay. Let me see Chief. I don't think I reported to him after all the stuff I did. <laughs> Sensing the thing with Bronwyn went badly. Pretty bad, yeah. Why did you put me up to it? Yeah, that was... it was a mess. I need all hands on deck. You're a hand. At least I thought you were. <laughs> Nothing happened. Gaslighting. She tried to sleep with me. Well, that was strange. That's... Very strange. Yeah. Doesn't seem like something she'd do at all. Crazy. You don't even look like you make a good couple. Maybe that's... she was on to you. No, oh, that's rude. Is there anything else I can do? You wouldn't be a good couple. No, you've done enough. I'll keep up my end of the bargain. Make those speeding tickets go away, though. Technically, you'd have more points than a hedgehog if I kept them. And if I do catch you speeding in August again, Oscar, instant ban. Capiche? Ban on what driving? Yes. Capiche. Capiche? It's language. That makes me look cool. You can go now. Oh my god. <laughs> He's trying so hard. I can say it because it makes me look cool. Yeah, okay. Was I him yet? Was I the creep? Violet. Hail a cab. Zach. I know you. I am the chief. The police chief. DuPont. I understand that you knew Jenks DuPont. We met briefly, yes. Mm -hmm. I freelanced for the August Chronicle and they did a story about her. Oh. Was that the first time you met her? As far as I know. I meet a lot of people through work. Some are more memorable than others. You remember her for sure. I happened sure. to mention my portrait services, so she built a session with me. Mm-hmm. When, was, when was exactly? A few weeks ago. That doesn't tell me much. What type, what type of photos do you? For the paper. Record shots that any idiot with a phone can take. My studio is where the magic happens. Mainly portraiture, but I dabble in other areas. 
Boudoir so, photography. Yeah, this one, boudoir photography. Sometimes, if that's what the client wants. Boudoir. Are you asking for yourself? <laughs> boudoir of jinx. It's for the case. Don't be facetious. Don't be facetious. It's for the case. Of course. Ew, ew, nah. Chief? Hey. Again? Again? <laughs> did Dorota have any online friends? Yeah, does she have anything? She didn't Anyone? really use any social networks. Didn't have the time. Mainly just cello, cello, cello. Go to any clubs or groups? Mm, yeah. She helped out at a Rainbows group. I think it's like Cub Scouts for little kids. Did that with a mum. But, uh, I don't know. Unless she was strangled by a nine-year-old. Possible. You'd be surprised. Those little kids are vicious. They are terrible. Did I speak to you already? Yeah. Who else? He wasn't here. Cool. Go to my room. Did I ever become Zack? I think so. Did I? I should do it in order instead of everywhere. Zack! What are you doing here? Quick, don't let Finley see you. Why don't you want anyone to see me? Everyone's We're talking, talking about Dorota. But I suppose people like that attract trouble. People like people that. Like what? Home wreckers. <laughs> Still don't like her. I hope you didn't just come here to talk about Dorota. Really don't like her. Why don't you want anyone to see me? Are you happy she's dead? I didn't say that. You... But we both know what Dorota was like. Acting like. She threw herself at you. She didn't throw herself at me. Wait, why, why do you, you think, that? think that? How about I deny it? Don't play games with me, Zack. You know how insecure I get. Why don't you want anyone to. What? You're the one who said we shouldn't be. Skip. I want. I wanted to make sure we were still okay. Are we still okay, baby? What did you do? Mm. What did you say to Sam? Uh, things. I said things to Sam. I say things to everybody. Zach, <laughs> let me stop you there. Um, Nothing. You are one creepy fellow. Now, I, I don't know what you had going on with the rotor, but I don't want anything to do with it. Do not come back here. Please. That is great. That is a great moment for Rain. Hail a cab. Oscar. Darn. I can't be like, I was with your girl. How's it going? Go to my room. I guess return to Sam. And I can hail a cab. I think that's everything. I'm, I'm getting nothing different. Update. Police investigating the death of 21. Next chapter. Sam. Okay. Let me use. try to save what's her face. We've done a reading. Mm -hmm. Five of Swords again. So five of Swords. It's the same one. Same five of Swords. Yesterday. Ten of Swords. Ace. Page of what was it? Let's hope it's not the Knight of Wands. Yeah, that. This doesn't look good. It's fine. This happens all the time. There are 78 cards in a deck. The same ones come up a lot. And then she's going to get the 10. We drew the exact same cards yesterday. What are the odds of playing all three again? One in 474,552. It's big. I, I got asked a lot. It's a big number. Bet it's a ten of swords. happening again there's gonna be another murder then Lexi did her thing and now we have a name Ellis Monroe radio lady cool oh is it Ellis hi you must be Sam you should lock your doors honestly the only reason why you died is because you did not lock your doors Can I, I save her? Phone with Chief Dupont. I can't believe it. First Dorota, now me. Crazy, right? 
to me about Poe. Do you know Zach? Not very well. He's done a few shoots of me and Poe to promote the show. Okay. Have you had any private sessions with him? No. Good. Gross. Zach keeps asking, but I just don't want to. Oh, good. Not for him, but Dorota did. She gave me the pictures as a gift. <laughs> she looked amazing. She took the boudoir pictures for you? Tell me about Poe. We're co-hosts on the radio. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you know that already. Um, we've been partners for two years now. He's a good friend. So I think I missed that. I did not know she took the boudoir pictures for her. That's funny. Partners are friends. Can't we be both, Sam? Poe's his radio name. He's actually John Poe. He's on air now, but you can come back at 8.30 if you want to see him. Where were you last night? On air. We both were. We broadcast live hourly news reports. It's how we keep our funding. Okay, cool. You know Dor yes. Dorota, Dorito? We were... Mm-hmm. Friends. I hadn't known her for long. Only a few weeks. How'd you meet her? We at, at a gala. Cool. Uh -huh. Cool. What happened after the after show? A few drinks. Did you know that she had a boyfriend? Oscar. Yeah. Wow. She was a bit confused. When we started seeing each other, she didn't break up with him. She didn't like him touching her anymore. I didn't mind. But she did. Okay. So I told That's her rude. if he wanted to get sexual, then maybe she should try something else. Something else, something kinky, like doing it in a closet. I said some guys like to watch, so tell him it would be sexy if he could look, but he couldn't touch, as far as I know. Skip. Ah, crap. How did it work? She told Oscar to watch from her walk-in wardrobe. When he was at a safe distance, she put on a show. Oh, the camera. She faked it. So with the camera that uh, Zach took, that means, that should mean that he was in the closet. But I don't think I got that in this session. I don't think I got that response. I think she enjoyed it, enjoyed it more than you think. She told me she faked it. But you'd know best. Why would I know best? I just got here. Do you know why she owns a wedding dress? It was her mom's. She was saving any case she ever got married. This is just between us, right? No. No. This is an investigation. We fooled around. I don't a have lot. many friends, Sam. Everyone thinks because I'm on the radio, I have tons of friends, so nobody ever approaches me. I get lonely. But Dorota was my friend. Mm-hmm. And I liked making her happy. Okay, that's sad. You have no friends? Poe and Dorota. People I say hi to. Okay. Any idea who might want to hurt you? No. Sorry. Helpful. I did have a strange dream last night, though. My life was playing on a TV screen. And every time I did something... Ah, oh, that one. It means you hit the deep sleep phase. REM sleep. Yeah, that. So, you don't think dreams mean anything? Nah. Everyone has meaningful dreams, Sam. Everyone. Okay, I don't dream. What do you want me to do? I'm not making promises. Just don't hurt me. Okay. Or let me get hurt. Okay. See, there was a cop here for you. I, I, I don't know why. He didn't do his job? Sam? I can't help you with that. Phone. You should stay inside. Someone's trying to murder you. See, this is why you died. That's why. That's why. No self-preservation whatsoever. Sam. Hi. Do me a favor. Go easy on Violet. No. If we need to get anything out of her, let me deal with it. Nope. She'll open up to me. Nah. Go all in on Violet, Zach. Hi. Can I be 
keeping around. You know Ellis? Monroe. Everyone knows her. She's a local radio star here. Okay. Have you met her? Couple of times, promo shoots, that sort of thing. Okay, not lying. Anything else? No. She is my type, though. Type of model. I'll ask her about the boudoir shoot again. Oh my god. Yeah, just let me know that you're being a creep. That's such a smart idea. I already came from Alice. Guess house. Oh, hey, it's a child. Excellent work. Gold star for you. Oh, hello. This is my goddaughter, Sophia. Okay, skip. I'm the boogeyman. No, you're not. I've seen the boogeyman. Have you? Don't look like you. Do you want to know a secret? Sure. Wyler was taken by aliens in their ship. Okay. Sorry about that. Sophia. You know, Ellis Monroe. Of course. Poe and Monroe. She's on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met her? Yes, I believe I did. She was here once for something. I don't remember now. Anyway, your goddaughter said aliens. She has a wicked imagination for her age. Aliens? Is that why you're taking- eh, do you think you were abducted? Do you think you're sitting here now? Perception is reality, Sam. Oh god, we're going through that again. Have you told anyone else about this? I needed to confide in someone, Yeah, so Chief DuPont. Do you think you were abducted last night? Why are you talking about this again? You understand, every time you mention abduction, it opens up a vault of crushing memories that uh -huh. I'd rather stay locked up. Uh-huh. Anyway, did anyone see you? No. Not even the moon. Skip. Hey, Bronwyn. Ray said you knew about the rights. A little bit. What did you want to know? What's a right? A right can take many forms, but from what we know about... Skip. How do you know about travelers? We've all known about them for hundreds of years. We just know them by different names. Demons, skinwalkers, Jack the Ripper. They're all travelers. Jack the Ripper. Will there be three this time? Three attempts? Yes, that's likely. But three victims? That's up to you, Sam. No pressure. <laughs> there were two last time. I did such a good job. No. I can do a reading if you want. Sure, do a reading. What's she gonna pull? Hmm. Chariot. What's my question? Is Zach a suspect? I'm sensing there's a lot of Hi, Coco. Always coming in. Like he's trying to keep everything together and if he can just do that I'm sorry that's not much help to you is it not really did did he do the murder that's what I'm trying to do I've heard on the radio but other than that I don't know anything about her I want to help though okay what's the connection between Ellis and Dorito that's the million dollar question isn't it red hair although we can be sure of one thing red hair they both know the killer <gasps> Not necessarily. If it's a traveler, then they just jump into any vessel, have their fun and go. It just needs to be someone nearby. I need your help. I don't know with what. Yes, of course. Anything. I need... I need... Keep an eye on Violet. Why Violet? Because she's think a she's redhead. You don't think she's involved, do you? That's what I need to know. Keep an eye on her. Leave it with me. I'll see what I can find out. And don't worry. I'll be super discreet. I hope so. <laughs> was it a gold coin? It was a gold coin. I should have known. That's the same as Birmingham. 
although they beheaded the victims. Okay. They all have gold coins in their mouths. It's their way of marking their territory to prove it's their work. Well then. There we go. Oop. Uh oh, I wasn't done. I wasn't done. I wasn't done. Rain. Hey, Rain, were you really praying? In Birmingham, it was a man called Yuri Harris. He worked as a butcher. He beheaded all three girls within hours of each other. I heard about the beheading. And we couldn't stop it. He pleaded not guilty for reason of temporary insanity. What happened to Yuri? Why do you think Yuri was a traveler? Because he said he'd see us again. In August. Oh, wow. Before we even knew it was a month and a place. Traveler's just taunting you now. It's like you guys got a little cat and mouse game going. I don't want to interfere with that. I know the name. She's off the radio. I have to get away from it in this town. Uh... In the previous game, he did a reading for her. Did I skip over it? So what's the news about Ellis? I feel so useless sitting here. I want to help. Do you really want to help? Yes, please use me. Tell me what to do. I want you to... Uh, I have a few options. I want you to find out what you can from Zach. Who's that? He's a photographer and a creep. Good luck with that. Is he a suspect? I guess he must be. Okay, I'm on the case. Bam. Give me a minute you're ready and I'll be off. Okay, be careful. Don't die. Watch her get murdered instead. God, I'm putting people in danger. I am so good. Hail a cab, Chief. Hi, Chief. Violet's talking about aliens. What do you know about it? She... She's taking pills. It's probably a bit more nuanced. Than I that. smell crabs. But maybe. I prefer lobster. Oscar? He he left. Have I spoken to you, Ellis? I think I spoke to you, right? What are you mumbling? I mumble here. You don't get the mumble. That's my thing. I'm mumbling. Anyway, go into my only alive because we Okay, won. thank you. You're so nice. I oof, jeez, who do I need to bring around to talk to people? Oh, starting with him. Hi, I Leave Scoop the Pete Violet. Claude. <laughs> Claude. Nothing to say, Chief. Bronwyn. What a surprise to see you again. Why didn't you tell me Ellis was next? Why didn't you tell me anything? I told you Dorota was first. And that didn't turn out very well, did it? Let's hope Sam does a better job than you did. <laughs> I used the police and then she died. <laughs> she had one police dude on her. Nothing. Absolute nada. Is it Oscar? Chief, I wanted to ask you something. Okay. Yeah, uh, sure. Is it about the boudoir photo? What, what did you want to ask? Am I still a suspect? No. Okay. Good. I mean, that's the truth. Listen, I think I might get out of this place soon. Oh, I should have said yes. I need some space. Keep him around. Uh, is it about the boudoir photos? Yeah. So it's true then? Yeah, your girlfriend was I taking some... Them. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all tasteful stuff. Maybe a gift for you. Yeah. I didn't get them. Oh, no. You know, I feel like I'm the only person who hasn't seen them. Hmm. That's rough, man. Girlfriend takes boudoir pictures and you don't get them. Creep. Chief DuPont. Hi. Thanks for calling in. Lock your doors. Seriously. Just you're safe. At the moment, my heart's beating a thousand times a minute, and I can't sit still. Every noise or knock on the door makes me jump out of my skin, okay. and I keep looking behind me. Mm-hmm. Is that safe? Have I ever let you down? What's really What's worrying you? That What's you're happening? just saying you're doing things when you're not actually doing anything. What's the plan, Chief Dupont? 
How do we stop this from happening? Oh my god. <laughs> How do we stop me from dying? Bye. <laughs> Valid concerns, but I have to leave. I have to go powder my nose and become somebody else and see what I can do with it. Um, hey! Okay, not there. I don't think I can use it for anything except for... Maybe I can visit Chief? Okay, don't want to see me. Don't want to see me, Zach. Hello, lovely. Take a look at this. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to see pictures of your conquests. Yeah. It's not like that. It's just a press photo. Uh-huh. Do you see anything in it? He keeps saying that. What is he seeing? A girl holding a cello. You don't see any movement. Just a rotor. What is he seeing in this picture? Am I supposed to look at that picture and see something? Well, she's dead because she wasn't home. Good God. You try to keep people in this town safe, but they don't listen to you. But then they kick the bucket and wonder why. What a shame. Is there anything? Do you believe Tara can predict things now? I'm not one for mystics and crystal balls. I'm a Virgo. Um, that's... It says you're lying about your alibi. Is she? Oh, I suppose it has a 50-50 chance of getting it right. Haha. <laughs> you are so funny. Nothing to say to him. Ron, what are we going to do about Ellis? Keep her safe. Keep her from dying. What would you do about her? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Let's think. What if we try? The few times we've caught up with the Traveller, nothing's worked. Talking to them? Restraining them? Killing, Killing them? them? Talking to them? Killing, Killing the them. traveler? Restrain. Restrain. If we lock up the killer until Mercury tells us Ellis is safe, that could work. But he can jump bodies. But who is he? He can killer? jump into vessels. That ain't gonna Ellis. work. Zach. O Zach. Ugh. Oscar. Let's say... Chief Dupont. Who's Sam? Sam. Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> Say it's me. Sam. You don't really think that, do you? God, I suppose it could be. Okay, let me have a think. She's gonna lock me in my room. Oh no. Visit no one. Hail a cab. Chief. Oscar. Uh Zach. Ellis. Oh yeah, she freaks out. Who are you? What are you doing in my house? And this is why you die. Get out now before I call the police. Is this what you said to your killer in the last game? Hey, get out of here before I call the police. What in the world? Lock your doors if you don't want to get murdered. Number one. Who is Sophia? Yeah, who's that? You saw her, did you? She's my <coughs> goddaughter, at that age where she overshares. <laughs> Is she a ghost? Is she a ghost? What makes you say that, Rain? Is there something about her aura? Oh, you are a, a mystic believer or something. What is it, Ray? I, I have, have a plan. I have a plan. You do? Enlighten me. Lock up, Sam. Maybe Ellis should stay with us. Yeah. With our track record. Mm -hmm. If she gets killed anywhere near us, we'll be sent to jail, whether we did it or not. That's cold. That is cold. I'm just being practical. We should bring her Alice's along. fate is in our hands. Ours isn't. Damn, so much for that. Hi, Rain. Did you miss me while I was gone? Never. God, never. So. I'm honestly not going to try and worry about this one. We've told Sam, and I think that's all we can do. Really? And what's Sam gonna what's do? Sam? I believe Sam is going to save Ellis. And how? According to the Ouija, this could play It's because you have a crush. Ways, but mostly saving Ellis. What other way? Ellis could run. 
Ennis could die. She died. Ennis could be saved. She died. Mistaken identity. Someone else dies. There's a lot of noise coming from the beyond. But it's not just a load of voices saying Ennis will die. Sam's got this. She definitely died. Oopsies. Can't trust me with anything. Hail the cab. Chief. Oscar. You weirdo. Ellis. Haven't you done enough predicting my death? I'm I can predict your life. It's okay. I'm just kidding. I know it's not your fault. Well, unless you're the killer. <laughs> no. Have you made a decision about the show? I think it's a no. Sorry. It's just the reading that you gave me the other day. I don't want to scare off the audience. Why would I scare off your listeners? But reading? What reading? Uh, why would I scare off listeners? They don't want to hear talk of death and darkness. Well, they do, if it's in a story. But you can't tell them they're going to die. I said you were going to die? You didn't say you're going to die, just like that, but... I the killer the is after you. And the devil. And you said it was... What was the word you used? My challenge. That... I needed to die so I could be free from my chains. What? I know you said it doesn't mean the literal death, but maybe it does. Okay. That's one hell of a reading. Cool. Who's next? Who's on the list? Lexi. Hi, I'm... Actually, maybe she needs to do her own work with Zach... So, I'll leave, but I won't go see Zach. Because I did ask her to go see Zach. I don't want to mess any of that up. Lexi Korn, how thin are these walls? Very. I can hear you screaming at your Ouija board. Last night, too. I feel like I've heard your whole... What'd you hear? Does Sam like me? Is Violet a lesbian? Will Ellis die? Will Bromwen die? That last one, don't worry about that. Why not? I'm going to stick around until you're sick of the sight of me, all right? I'm not in any danger. Ellis is in danger. Sam's in danger. I'm in danger? <laughs> Why am I in danger already? I'm just hanging around. Our job is so stressful. Tell me about it. Chasing around the unknown. Trying to triumph good over evil. It's like an adventure. Generally standing around helpless watching people die. Why do we do it? Why don't we just quit? Why don't we just quit? And leave Bronn on her own? Quite possibly to die? Maybe. No. I'm locked in now. Until the end. Whatever that may be. Okay. Well, he doesn't sound possessed. Hail a cab. Chief! Oscar! I don't want to visit him. Okay, guest house. Back to that one. I better go to my room, become... What is this gonna get me? Can I even... Where would I go? Who would I see? Maybe the chief? Chief. Okay, Oscar. Creepo. No one. Alright, that was a waste. Go... Be the creep. I can go see Ellis. Zach, what are you doing here? Why would you invite him in? <laughs> I've been a naughty boy. I need to tell my previous partners. Oh goodness. Good to know. I'm not one of them though. So, unless there's anything else, pose for me. No, nope, bye. Chief. Arrest me. I'm a creep. I'll have to run away, though, because I'm still Sam. Go to your room. I think that's it. I can't think of anything else. Hey, look up. Nope. Okay. Chief. Oscar. Not there. Zach. Ellis. Who, what am I missing? Violet? Oh, fine. I don't really want to. Tell me about the abduction. 
Okay, you don't have to tell me. Thanks, Sam. That's fine. For respecting my wishes. Yep. Yeah. I really need to get a wee don't. Can I be done? No. Okay. Bronwyn? No. Rain? Oh, you did a reading? Yeah. She asked for a sample reading to show what I could do. Magic fingers. Did you read for Poe? No. Danger. Not really. As I recall, it was all fluffy bunnies and rainbows. I don't Success think that's and true. Success on all fronts, etc., etc. Hmm. That doesn't sound true. Think you're lying to me, Lexi. Is that it? Oh my goodness. Zach? Oscar is not their chief. Same thing. I was supposed to go easy on her, but then it's still pushing it. It's difficult to explain. Yeah, okay. Are we done? Okay, good. Try to leave again. It's there we are. And you're listening to Lady August. Investigations into the murder Trying to be of respectful. Don't want her to push when she doesn't want to. Okay, where are we now? Visit Poe? Okay, cool. This is where I basically started. Um, so who did what? <laughs> Who's the killer? Hello. It's you. Jeez. I was hoping it might be Zack. Have you seen Zack lately? No. And I've got some very important news for him. You're if pregnant. If he ever shows up. Important news? Yes. If he ever shows up. He's gonna show up? Trust me. Let's- oh my god. Ma'am. 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 Don't confirm the existence of travelers. They're not ready. That's real! Okay. But they're fighting the travelers. What do you mean? What do you mean they're not ready? Zack. You had news for me. The game is up. What game? I think you should leave town. What's happening? What? <laughs> What's this? I know where you were last night. Ooh. I followed you to Dorota's house. <gasps> well. I didn't know it was Dorota's house until we arrived. Call it women's intuition. I was at the studio. You were at, you were at Dorota's. I was, I was at the studio. At the studio. No, you weren't. Okay. That detective's not stupid. Dupont might be, but not Sam. <laughs> They'll put two and two together. And then what? You're helping this fool? Him? And then they're going to arrest you. You weren't there long, I suppose, but then... I guess it doesn't take you long, does it? Wow. But You're spying on me. Why are you helping him? Good God. I followed you there, then back to the studio. You lied to the police. You lied to me. The, the murder is not what the problem is. We're finished. <laughs> it's the lie. Don't come back here again. Not the murder. Not the murder. The murder, whatever. You lied to me about it, though. Oh, her priorities are not... You're not in order, but he might be. I think he's a murderer. He's the murderer. He did it. It was him. It was Zach. Creepy. Creep man. Go back to your room. Uh, return to Sam. Violet? Hi! How's it going? Zach said you were at... Actually, no. Let me go to Zach with that. Good dip it dip dip it dip the cab. Thanks for spreading that crap about me. 
Oscar Wayne, right? He came looking for a fight. <laughs> Why did you say? Why did you say that? I never, ever slept with Dorothy. Uh huh. Even though she was the biggest tease. Is that true? Well, it says you were at Dorota's last night. Why would she say that? That would put us both at the crime scene. Uh, Dorota was fine when I left there. She asked me to come over and watch her get her. Both at the crime oh, scene? So you Which knew I she did. was following Being you? the gentleman that I am. I, I, I misread the signal somewhat as I thought I was supposed to join in, which was not the case. I think she threw a teddy bear at me or something. That's hilarious. Ugh. After that, I left. I had no idea Violet was spying on me. You... That places both of you at the scene. Where are you going to be for the next few hours? Probably right here. Why? I didn't realize I was under house arrest. Oh, you sure are, buddy. Thanks for the advice. I hope I'm not... Mm-hmm. I'm on to you. Sam, I've got some heavy rain news. Oh, right. Lawrence Petrovsky, that's his real name. And no, he's not a Russian spy. There was a murder was under his name? Record. He was charged with the murder of a 21-year-old artist. Okay. I didn't get to ask him about this. About three months ago in Hong Kong. Okay. Let me ask him about that. I forgot about that completely. I don't think I asked him. Hey, you murdered somebody in Hong Kong. <laughs> Tell me about Lawrence this name. <laughs> now that's someone I get mistaken for all the time. Right. It's not me. Uh-huh. Chief Dupont has made a mistake. I didn't say that. And the murdered girl? I don't know what you're talking about, detective. Hmm. Tell me about Hong Kong. It's a lovely place. It has the third most high-rise buildings of any city in the world. How do you catch a traveler? Honestly, you don't. Once they're caught, a few hours later, they've hopped timelines into someone else. Oh, so they have to stay here we for a few hours. Them. Continuously trying to stop them ruining lives. Can you force them to leave? No. But they don't like being exposed. Which is why they came after me. If Mercury pointed them out, they're already in trouble. How can you tell they've, they've gone? We do a reading. Mercury would know. Well, that's helpful. Trust in the cards and all that. Bronwyn? Sorry, Sam, what can I do for you? What's happening? Yeah, I, I always cry around this time of night. Um, why? What's the point, Sam, huh? Oh my goodness. If we can't save them. Mercury is a curse. Okay. It's like the tourist guide for murders. <sighs> I try. I can't help you with that. For Lexi and Rain to make them think that we can make a difference, make a change, but... Why are you dumping this on me? We haven't so far. What if we can't make a change? You can. I'm here. Baby. If we could just save one person, Sam. Alice. Mm-hmm. We need to save her. Okay. We need to. All right. Did you keep an eye on Violet? Yes. All right. She's definitely got a monkey on her back. What? I saw her get changed. Oh. She's got all these scars on her back in the shape of a monkey. A tattoo? Like they've been burned into her. What the hell happened to her, Sam? Anything else? Yes. I managed to sneak a look at her laptop. Good grief. She's been Googling Ellis Munro. Okay, do you know who Lawrence is? It rings a bell, but... Lawrence something? No. Sorry, Sam. Okay. Weird how you don't recognize that name, but that's who he gets mistaken with all the time. Does he not talk to you about that? Hey, do you know this name? Uh, who, what, Petrov's what? Uh, exactly. Um, no. Should I? Uh, 
<laughs> What'd you find out from Zach? I found out he's a creep. Yes. He basically put the moves on me as soon as I walked through the door. Good grief. I mean, I knew that would happen. You knew? Yeah. That would have been nice. Anyway, I did find out one thing that's pretty damning. He has a massive collection of books about serial killers. What's that about? How'd you find that? He's off the radio. I don't really know him. Actually, I'm glad you're here. I really, really want to do a reading for you right now. You know, to help. Okay, sure. Yeah, give me a reading. Great. Let me just draw three cards for you. Yeah, got my book. Got my book. I had to step out for dinner. Whose life are we ruining now? Uh, well, Bronwyn was crying because she can't save anybody. Rain's real name is Lawrence, and he's like, oh, I've been mistaking for him all the time. Also, I'm pretty sure Zach's the killer. Because in this one, Violet followed him to Dorota's house. So he was there. And she warned him and told him to get out of town. Am I supposed to ask a question? This is just a general reading. You don't need a question. Okay. Okay. No. The Two of Cups. Two of Cups. That's mysterious. Cups. Is there anyone you feel a spark of attraction to? Uh. Maybe someone you've met recently. Oh, crazy. Hold on. Two of Cups. Lovers. I did not expect that. Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> it seems this attraction has the potential to be life-changing. Did you put those to on top? And finally, the Knight of Cups. This card is about pursuing your heart's desire. Mm-hmm. I think it's time to tell that someone special how you really feel. She set that whole wow. thing up. What an interesting reading. Does it mean anything to you? Two of Cups, an amazing Tinder date. The baby of the lover's card. Two of Cups shows promising new connection. Wow, you are laying it on thick, aren't you? You know what, Lexi? I should ask you out on a date if we survive this. You catch on quickly, don't you, sir? Yeah. I wouldn't mind having shape-shifting babies. I don't know how that would work. Good luck with that. I'll probably just leave. I'll be a deadbeat dad on the run. I'm such a great person. Uh, I think I visited everybody. Right? 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 The, the, the hail a cab? Hey, I'm going. Okay. There's too many people asking questions. It's Get out. I'm off to stay at my aunt's. I'll come back tomorrow, but I've said everything I can say. Cool, bye. Po. You're the detective. Monroe just called. Uh huh. This is madness. Who would want to hurt her? Anyone. You know, this. History doesn't interest then me. I will... Anyone Only hate Monroe? Get rid of that. I already got answers from him. She has all the best. I cool. Know. Uniting. Skip. She is forcing people to listen to you. <laughs> That's cynical, detective. Not at all. We aren't the only show on the radio. Who's this dink? Poe? He's Poe from Poe and Monroe. He's the dude on the radio. Do you know Dorota? We interviewed her. Skip. Tarot. Yeah, tarot card. Uh, does this have anything Reading. to do with the gentleman who stopped by? Yeah, he stopped by and uh, uh, did a reading. Get his name. He offered to do a spot on our show, doing tarot readings to answer listener questions. We said we'd ah. think about it. Okay, are you guys close? We've worked together for years. She's Skip. the light. Is she dating anyone? I believe not. She has a Skip. Baby. On that note, I should... Okay, thank you, bye. It's now 10 o'clock. Here's your August update. Investigations deepen into last night's murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw, a talented cellist who had recently been granted a place at Juliet, was found strangled at her home. Skip. Keep investigating, I think. I hear you have a lot of books about serial killers. 
Don't get excited, detective. Yeah, creep. Do the criminology course. Then and you buy the books. But you're a photographer. Hi, Alice. You delivered a radio to the guest house? I delivered radios all over town. I don't think I should have bothered with some of them, though. I don't think... Violet, is it? I don't think Violet liked me very much. Hmm. Maybe she was jealous. Maybe. I don't know why anyone would be threatened by me, though. I'm not interested in stealing anyone's man. <laughs> I know. Interested in stealing all the ladies. I already came from you. Is it Poe? <laughs> the way he's just looking. Zach already did that. Chief? I don't know why you're rolling your eyes. I am doing work. Guest house? Is there anything here? Just to make sure. Lexi. We're gonna go on a date. I think that's it. I'll just... Next chapter. It's now 10 o'clock. Here's your August Skip. Up. Hi. I've just gone crazy tonight. I've just got off the phone with someone who thinks they saw a UFO on one of the nights that Violet went Uh-huh. I have Maybe the murderer. Right now. Anyway, now you're here, it's time. What do you suggest we do with Ellis Monroe? Oh, right. We should keep her safe. You know what? I'll go to her house. Monroe's a local treasure around here, Sam. Don't let anything happen to her. She's gonna die anyway. Hi! I'm staying with you, Ellis. Sam, I'm not sure. Do you think you can stop someone from trying to kill me? Nope. I'm gifted with certain powers. I'll do my best. <sighs> That's all I needed to hear. Thanks for staying with me, Sam. I know it's dangerous. I don't know why you're here, but... I'm glad you are. Okay. It's almost 10 o'clock, Sam. When's it gonna be over? I don't know. You said Bronwyn will call when it's safe. Should, should we call them now? Or I don't know. are we just supposed to wait? Um, you're gonna be okay. Just stay there. I know you're just being good, but that's kind of easy for you to say right now. I think I'm probably gonna have a heart attack before anyone gets a chance to kill me. Will you chill? Honestly, we should have just stayed at the guest house or something. Just wait. That's the door. That's the door, Sam. What what are, what are we gonna do? Well, breathe. You're safe. Just stay behind me, hopefully. Just stay with me. <laughs> just... Don't know why an officer couldn't do this, but hey, whatever. Random shape shifting detective can. Who's in the house? Is anyone? Jesus! Thank God. I've been outside all the time, okay? Bromwyn Castle just called. She said the danger is over. They've done a new reading. There's another victim now. Look, Danny's outside. He's going to take you somewhere safe, okay? <laughs> Danny. Sam, I think you should find out who the next victim's going to be. Then come and see me in my office. She didn't even grab a kitchen knife week, right? It's 11 o'clock. I'm Poe, and this is your August up. Hey, is it me? Am I still Sam, the am I still the victim? I have some bad news. We've done a group reading. And it's you. Ah, right. Okay. Well then. I'm the next target. I don't know, Sam. I, I don't know what to say. It's normally a death sentence, but with you it might be different. Well, it was different with Ellis. Okay. Well, that's that's fine. Don't let it win, Sam. You hear me? You fight this. I've called Chief Dupont already. He's asked that you meet with him. Okay. You should go, Sam. Be careful. Is anyone gonna, I don't know, go with me? Can I get some support? Anyone? No? Sorry. Okay, fine. No, I'll just be alone. You're still alive. This is a good thing. Uh huh. But no one's even attempted to kill you yet. You've given me a lot of evidence, enough to arrest someone. And who? Make the right decision. And you should be safe. If we don't, 
Well, we all got to sleep at some point. Because he lied about his I'm alibi. Guard your room at the guest house. I'm gonna well, go with Zach. So, Sam, who should I arrest? Because he did go to Dorota's house. Who do you think, Chief? During that whole thing with Alice, the only people I couldn't keep track of were Rain, Zach, and and Violet. I so it's always one of those but three. That's why you're here. You're impartial. Okay, I'm gonna go with Zach again, but because she followed him to Dorota's house and she told him who I was actually to get out of town because the police were catching on. So Zach. Zach, I don't trust him either. He's definitely creepy. He lied about the alibi. Myself. With all the information you've given me, I think it'll be enough. Hopefully. Maybe he'll confess, too. That will help. Good luck, Sam. If you pick the wrong person, you're still in danger. Oh, no. Not me being in danger. As a shape-shifting detective, I could become a snake. I wish I could become a snake. I'll just slither away. Oh, God. Sam, you asked for these earlier. Make sure you get some sleep now. You'll need it. Night. Thanks. I don't know why I needed it. It better not be you again. I'm sorry, sorry. That was in bad taste. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, Bronwyn asked me to check that you're okay, and you seem to be. Well done, catching a killer, by the way. Okay. Well, hopefully you did. Uh -huh. <laughs> Scream if you need me. I have scissors. It's one o'clock in the morning, and Stab this you. is Poe with your August update. We don't normally have them at this time, but since there's a killer... On Who is it? I feel it's my duty to keep the radio station mad. I personally spoke with Chief DuPont earlier, and he thinks they're close to catching the killer. Until that happens, though, please lock your doors and stay inside. Mm -hmm. Remain vigilant. The light has faded. Okay, he's doing that whole thing. Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Oh, shit. <laughs> God damn it. Still with us. I'll have to give you a pretty high dose of Rehypnol to drag you in here. I could have killed you in your room, of course, but that would have looked pretty suspicious. Am I always going to be wrong? <laughs> Jeez. Yes, I could I'm get... Rain, but I can't remember. I don't remember. I'm being possessed, but I can't get caught. But you're... They don't care, Sam. Hmm. They don't care what happens to the vessel. Some sick traveler is using me as a killing machine. And then they'll just dump me. Okay, you, you should stop. You're gonna get me stuck in prison. Life. Yeah. I can't have that. You shouldn't do that. I can't let you do that. Wait, who can I turn into? Change into Bronwyn? Maybe. Rain. What are you Go doing, on. Rain? What is this? You're Sam. I'm... Bronwyn. Is it really you? you? Did you not see the change? I don't know what to do. I can help you. Just untie me. Let me help you, man. Yeah. yeah, of course. We know how to fight against travelers. It's okay. I don't know what to do. I don't remember anything the night the Lord died. And I don't want to say anything. Violet said the same thing, so I thought maybe it was her or some group hallucination. And then Sam turns up and starts digging everywhere. I didn't get a chance. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a chance, Bronwyn. Okay. Just needed more time. Don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> what did I hit them with? It's the second you person I knocked out. Time. Damn it, I knew it all along. It was one of those tarot readers. Uh, you kept telling me it wasn't Bronwyn, and all along it kind of was. It, it was well, not. One of her crew. 
It doesn't matter now. I'm glad you made it out alive, Sam. You put the wrong person behind bars, but this makes up for it. Get some sleep. I'll catch you again in the morning. Jeez. I keep getting it wrong. <laughs> but it saved Alice. She's alive. I'm the greatest detective there ever Hello, sleepyhead. was. I'm so glad to see you alive. Hey, uh, so, uh... Rain, did I win? Enjoy the journey, Sam. Don't think of things as ending. Something new is beginning. Rain is locked up. He's being charged for murder. Travelers don't like being incarcerated, so they'll have jumped realities already. It's not something that a jury will believe. The shell they've left behind won't remember what they've done. And... But this is Rain. Spend a life in prison. All we can do is try and stop the next one. You're just going to leave Rain behind. I still can't believe it was Rain. I suppose nobody is immune. And now we're one short. Yeah. Sam. Yes. Come with us, please. Yep. Uh, b -b -b sure. Really? Yeah. Oh, Sam. Hey, sweet cheeks. You sweet good. cheeks. Real good. You win. Alexi hug. Oh, right. We're dating now. <laughs> okay. Sam. Mm hmm. I'm just going to say it because you only live once and all that. Sam. I think I've fallen for you. It's been That's not it. even 12 hours. It's out there now. We can get all the lives. Not 12 hours have passed. But sure, yeah, I feel the same way, whatever. You do? Romance. Oh, I'm the happiest girl in the world. Yay. We have some catching up to do. Uh huh. I love relationships. Okay, nope, that's, that's way too soon. Sam, I guess you're on your way now. I don't often thank my guests, but thank you. I didn't think you had it in you. Well, I at least thought you'd run away at some point. But you didn't. You stayed. You've made August safe again. Not from the aliens. If you ever need a place to stay, you've got one here. Well, if I have a room available, that is. Take care, Sam. Why are you surprised? You're awesome. Everybody wants you. Wee. Oh, hey, right, you're alive. I didn't think you'd leave without saying goodbye. <laughs> Blur. People do horrible things to people every day. I'm just glad that someone like you are around to save us. I mean, everyone needs their own saving from time to time. Even me. Okay. You're strong, you'll be fine. That's easy for you to say. You got it. Look what you've just been through. I'd have been dead a few hours ago if it wasn't for you. Yeah, but um, yeah. you're right. Honestly. I am strong. I will be fine. But... I like having you around, Sam. That's a shame. I hope you're staying. No. I'm gonna Sam, you did good. hunt down I you demons. I mean, not that I've got a signed confession or anything yet. Apparently, I don't remember anything about the murders, but Bronwyn seems pretty convinced it's over. Well done. I hear you're leaving town with the tarot readers. Yeah. It's a real big shame you were starting to get in here. Nah, well, no, thank you. Good luck to you. You're doing what many of us have died trying. Leaving August. I'm, I'm good. I can be I'm on my way. My it's fine. That problem you had, I buried it. The coroner's report is going to say the woman was dead when you arrived, not after. I don't personally believe in exorcism or anything like that, but over the last 24 hours, I'm starting to think things aren't as cut and dried as I'd like them to be. You're a good person, Sam. At least that's definitely how it looks from the outside. Yay. I'm a great person. I saved a life. I'm so I'm amazing. Okay. I am 21. Okay, bye. You know why you're here, don't you? Oh, God. No? Because you did well. Okay. And you know what happens when you do well? No. Augmentation. Is this... Congratulations. Same thing. Agent Skip. Three. Bye. Bye, person. Thanks. That was really, really fun. I have stopped the murder. What? What is today's date? Okay. 
So that's it for this. I kind of, I mean, I'm going to exit game. Because I want to show off my characters in this one other game. I want to show off my hot man. I want to show off my character and my hot man character. This game comes out next week, right? Oh, it does come out next week. Yeah, I'm going to be playing this and these are my characters. What if you say you're not human in a secret debriefing? It'll probably make you start over. Character creator! Because the game isn't out yet. Let me show off. Let me show off my chick first. I may need to adjust the screen. How do I do that? Windowed. Oh no, that's not it. Actually, I think I can get it to capture the actual. I'll just make this big. And it current appearance. All right, this is my girl. I love her. I got her cool tattoos. She got snake tattoos. Let me change the lighting. Maybe that one. She got cool snake tattoos. Up and down the arm. She's a thief and the snakes are there. Like she snatches real quick like a viper. And she got this cool back tattoo. Rotate the lights. I have everything metallic so it's really shiny. She also has a tattoo on her boobs. I have no shame. Look at her face. Different lighting. Let me rotate. She's so pretty. I was actually able to make my nose. It's my nose. I love her. Absolutely love her. And I gave her a booty. She got cake. Oh, the music's really low. Posture, I guess, like, her walk is fine. She got that confident swagger walk. That's what I want for her. Of course, she's a thief class. Won't have it any other way. I wonder if more are going to drop during the full release. But definitely going thief. Finalize Ebony Shadow. I don't know if there's a better last name. Me shadow fits because thief <laughs> jazz, it'll stay thief, and it's fine. Finalize character and proceed, yes, because I want to show off my hot man person. Create new character who's a pawn, and I had to do some digging on the lore as to what a pawn is. Apparently, they're not really people. I was under the impression that I was just creating a companion character, which, yes, I kind of was, but also pawns aren't really people. They don't really have complete souls, and the only way for them to be complete is for their risen to die, and 
they have to go through some kind of process to get a soul and then they wind up turning into their arisen or something it's crazy anyway here he is look at that body I'm so proud of this one occasionally I come in and adjust a little bit but I haven't been adjusting lately oh my god I love this man Lighting. Yeah, that's good lighting. And he also got cool tattoos. Because he's a narcher, I gave him arrows on the sides of his arms. And then he has a cool back tattoo and some scars. He also got a little booty. And some abs. I really like his hair. The hair in front of his face is distracting. I chose this hair because of the hair in front of his face. It's also blocking his blue eye. But don't you want your archer to have a piece of hair in front of one of his eyes? It helps with the aiming. And it's the hair that's distracting and not the abs. God, those muscles. Look at him. It took me so long to find the right lip color. I spend so many hours just finding the right lip color. But I'm thinking of removing the scars. Body scars. I just remove the scars. We got tattoos. Don't want to distract from that. Also, his voice. I chose this one because he's kind of sassy. The people here are evacuated and safe for the moment. It's his last line that's sassy. There are more who can yet be saved. It seems the rain has abated. Former Arisen appear to be plentiful in this world. Danger might lurk anywhere. Where every shadow and mine the ceiling. Splendid work, Master. Of course, I never doubted you for a moment. That also sounds like he was being kind of sassy and sarcastic. As you say, I shall remain here till you give the word. I shall lead us to our destination. So do try not to rush ahead. See? Sass. Sass. That's what I want. That's what I want from my main companion, Pawn Man. And he also has the scar. He has the pawn mark. Right there. It's, is it, is it? There it is. He got it right there. Bam. I did a lot of studying and it wasn't for any of my classes. <laughs> it was for <laughs> this game's lore love it but yeah he's an archer looks great in this armor cannot wait look at him I'm more excited for Bastion than I am my own girl how sad is that we got Bastion Volcari that's him I got my characters the game is dropping next week and I can't wait Where's the pawn mark? It looks like you zoomed in on his crotch. <laughs> Let me, hold on. I can get a better shot. It was on his hand. Let me go back to Archer. Zoom, 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 zoom. Right there on his hand. Okay, stop moving. Ugh. It's a scar on his hand. If you can see those little jagged lines, that's his pawn mark.
got it. Yeah. It's right there. His crotch just happens to be there. And that's not a bad thing. He's a hot man. Yes. Alright, with that show off done, I will be cutting the stream here. Thank you for watching, thank you for stopping by, and thank you for the likes. Next stream is next Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I will be playing Dragons of Dogma 2, because I spent time on those characters and I want to see them in-game. And I want to interact with the hot man that I created. And with my pretty girl that I created. I want them to interact with each other. It should be a fun adventure. I might be dying a lot. So that, that should be a great time. Have a great weekend. Yep, you too, Mr. Jones. Once again, next stream, next week, Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Dragon's Dogma 2. With all that being said, have a good night, enjoy your weekend, and I will be back on Friday.